And we're live. There we go. And we're back. We are back. We're back. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to YouTube World. This is our first time on YouTube Live. YouTube How Live. How is it going out there? <clears throat> we tried to do that last week, and it didn't work. I think we're successful right now. We have comments going. Oh, comments are going? So it should be good, yeah. That's good. What's As up, always. Everybody? I see everyone watching. There you go. As always, if, if there's anything. <laughs> Urban Street 24, Adam Hill. Damn, we got, uh, yeah, we got a lot of people in here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. It feels good being on YouTube. It's a whole different world out here. Yeah. We have a big show today. It feels different, doesn't it? Big show, yeah. The headphones feel different, too. Wait, we got headphones, too? Yeah. We're moving up in the world slowly. We got the mugs. Got <laughs> First uh, mugs, now headphones. Invite all your friends, everybody. Let everyone know that we're live on YouTube right now. Share the link. I think we're sharing it on Facebook, too. But uh, share the link with everybody. It's going to be a, a big show today. We have a very special guest. Mr. John Julio. Yep. President. You've seen the picture on the wall over there. We got his little picture up next to you. I don't have a picture, though. No? I don't know. I got, I got, you got a window. I, I got a window. Oh, they said I got to win one. You got to win one. <laughs> I got to win one. Uh, yeah, everybody. We also have big news this week. Um, we are now on iTunes officially. So everybody give us a good subscribe on iTunes, um, as well as our Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Stitcher. If you feel like being generous and you like what you see, support us on Patreon. Yes. Um, we're taking down, I don't even know if I told you this, we're taking down SoundCloud for now because they want to charge, us, charge, charge us, yeah. us money. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we're, we're off SoundCloud for now until further notice. But we can still listen to us on Stitcher mm. and iTunes. So. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page because now that we have YouTube working, that's yeah. what we're going to be doing. So hopefully subscribe. We're, yeah, hopefully we're doing YouTube live for now on. Everybody wanted the YouTube over Facebook, so that's what we're doing. Hopefully we get a better response here. And we got 84 people watching right now. Ooh. That's pretty good. For a Friday night, I think that's good. It's pretty good for a Friday night. Yeah. That's what I'd be doing on a Friday night, though. Yeah. I don't party like I used no, to. No, way. I kick back and I stopped that watch like a movie. 22, 23. Throw on a podcast. That's it. <laughs> Throw exactly. on a podcast, right? Yeah. Um, on iTunes, though, subscribe to us. And we need those reviews up. As many five-star reviews as we can get. So we want to get Blading ranked high on the iTunes. So um, if you can... Subscribe to us, give us five stars, leave us a nice review, and we'll get Blading back on top. We uh, also are going to be doing, we have some nice reviews so far. If you we would do. like to hear some, would you like to hear some? I would love to. Okay, great. Uh, JP Kiddo. I don't know if that's, <laughs> he looked at me. <laughs> that's JP. We got one review says, high quality. I love that Austin and Billy bring guests physically on the show. They've been involved in the game forever and have a ton of knowledge and stories. Don't miss out on these episodes. What a nice comment. That is a very nice comment. Thank, Thank you, you, JP. <laughs> we have one more from Support Something. says, if you have blades under your feet, then this should be an automatic podcast subscription. And do yourself a favor. Become a Patreon for these guys. Heart emoji. You got to like the heart emoji. I know. Some love some in there. Yep. But um, we're going to be shouting out uh, reviews every week, too, on the show. So if you can... Leave us a review. Leave us a we review. Give it. us a five-star rating. We'll Even if you think we're, we only deserve a four-star rating. Blading will be back on top in no time. Give us the five-star. It's for <laughs> Blading. It's not for us. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah. We also have uh, our website coming soon, Jump Street Podcast. Um, we're going to have you know, all like, the updated shows. We're going to have downloads for the MP3s for each episode. Uh, we're going to have a store up with some merch up there as well. And don't forget, this support. weekend, Yep, this getting weekend. our shirts. Yeah, we do. They're getting delivered, or they are delivered already mm -hmm. to New York. Um, but we have a limited supply of Jump Street shirts that are going to be on sale at the Bashi Pope contest. Bashi Pope. This weekend, the BPSO, what's this the, Sunday. What's the S stand for? Uh, Bashi the Bashi Pope, Pope Skate Off. Skate Off, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always call it the Pope Off. The Pope Off. <laughs> the Pope Off, I like that one. It should, we should off. change the name. <clears throat> the logo is going to have to be the Pope Hat then. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of religious people coming. But, um, yeah, $20 shirts if you're going to be at the event this weekend. Um, if you're in town, please come by and skate it. You know, uh, yep. participate in it. People went through uh, a little bit of trouble to make this event for you, <laughs> and they came from all over the some world. Some people. Some people. Yeah. You know, there's some work I'll put in, and people came from all around the world. So Ichido's in town. Um, we got some guys from Spain, Tony Cheetah and his brother in town. We got some people from California. Them Goods guys are in town. Went on, went on a skate session today and with Miguel and everyone and Abdiel Kohlberg, and it was like 20, 30 people. It's That's crazy. That yeah, it was pretty that cool. People. It was like old it's school It's good times. to see that like skating still alive, though, and everything. Yeah. You know, that people are still it's good. coming out to sessions. It's good in the summer in New York. It's very vibrant. Yeah. So exactly. it was good for that. 
Um, so everyone's in town. I think I have one more thing. We jumped into this thing head first. We didn't know what we were doing. No idea what we were doing. But also at the the Pope off, um, <laughs> our good friend Rob G is out of the hospital now. Yes. But we still uh, he still needs our support and everything. So the good people at Adorama Picks were able to donate three of these metallic prints, also from that Ryan Shooty photo. Um, these are high quality metallic prints. They're mounted and ready to be hung on the wall. Uh, they're 12 by 18. We had three of them for up for grabs for a donation. Um, two of them are taken away, so we have one more. So anybody who's going to be at the Pope off this weekend, if you want to purchase one of these, is the last one, and 100% of the proceeds go to the Rob G GoFundMe because Adorama Picks was generous enough to donate this. Thank you, free. Adorama Picks. Yes, thank you so much. <clears throat> Also, we want to thank our Patreon supporters directly. Mm-hmm. Uh, too Easy, Shut Up and Skate, Safe Journey. I want to thank Ryan Northway, Chad Hornish, Steve Johns, Kevin LeBron, JP Premiano, Vladi Korchega. Oh, man, I hope I got that one. <laughs> I know it's always hard saying this. Vladimir. Names. <clears throat> Sorry, Vlad. Thank you for your support. Sasha Reichart and uh, Taylor Popham. So we want to thank our Patreon supporters. Seriously, uh, it helps us get the pizza and feed our guests. It helps us have to get these mics, and we got these mm-hmm. new headphones. Mm-hmm. So thank you very much. It helps us get the quality of the show up better. Hopefully, we could fix everything and make it perfect in time. But Anybody who follows us on the gram, they know that we feed our we feed our guests well with pizza every week. So we need to <laughs> we need support for the pizza every week. Otherwise, our guests are going to be hungry and angry. Before we get into our WTF of the week. Uh, I'll give a shout out to our first sponsor of the show, today's show, What Bladers Wear, at What Bladers Wear on Instagram. What Bladers Wear is a platform to connect, promote, and share the style of blading. All the latest fashion blading goes up on their page. I was on their page the other day, scrolled down, I saw like a really cool feet blading hoodie. They also had, uh, what else did they have? They had like the new Rudy line. They had a, oh, they yeah, also they had a bunch of new clothes on there. They also had like a long sleeve, like them goods t-shirt. That was really cool. So th- they're putting up like all these like cool things. And I guess their whole, the whole thing that they're trying to do is kind of like reinforce the blading style within blading, have like bladers support blader owned uh, clothing companies as well. It's so, kind of like an online gallery of blading clothes. Right. Yeah. Pretty cool idea. It is a pretty cool it's like idea. It's community for the clothing. So that's what, what bladers wear. So you can find them at, at what bladers wear on Instagram. That's at what bladers wear on Instagram. This is a really cool brand, so check them out. Straight okay. to the WTF of the week. Okay, so now we have a uh, WTF of the week here. And the first one, we have, we have one with WTF, and then we have like a runner-up again like last An week. Honorable mention. There's a lot of, lot of good clips going around right. on the web lately. But our, our first one, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Roman Abrat. Is that how you say his last name? Abrat. <laughs> I'm not French. I don't know about French either. But lace the 540 alley fish, grab oh, the wow. whole way. That was incredible. I've like noticed he also just put out a street part. Did he? Yeah, like I saw some stuff of him skating in South America. It was just like all street stuff. It was incredible. I don't recall him skating street. He, that, you know, I don't Contest think guy. I did either. And I think that's why he did it. He's trying to shut down those haters. It's a good idea. You know, those people are like t- out talking on the street skate. And I think that that uh, little edit he just made was an answer for that. Well, he obviously got the skills. 540 I mean, look at that. Fish. Yeah, he, I mean, he's always had the skills, but I think that was the, yeah. o- the only thing that was always in question. I've so. never seen a five value fish. I've never seen a five value fish either. There you go. And your name is Fish. you never seen that. No. All right, so our honorable, would think. <laughs> <laughs> our honorable mention this week. All right, so that's a WTF of the week? Yes. Honorable mention. On to our honorable mention, oh, WTF. Started a little late, but this one is brought to you by the, the Borkland Zoo crew. Uh, Shout out, Borkland Zoo. Sven. Uh, Good luck saying it? it. Where is it? <laughs> I had it. Damn, my bad, Sven. Anyone who knows who this is, comment below. We have a crazy negative asset on a double drop kink, which also I've never seen before. I've never seen that. <laughs> single drop kink is too is one too many kinks. Have you ever seen a five forty alley fish on a double drop kink? I, no, I've never <laughs> seen. I don't think maybe it, these two guys should have a baby and have the <laughs> same trick. No, no, I don't want to see that. No. Actually, okay. that's scary. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. Are we good now? We're good. Okay, moving on. This week, in case you haven't read the title or been anywhere online in the blading community the past week. We have, all the way, 
from California, Mr. John Julio. There we go. Wow. Officially John got the headphones Julio. and everything. <laughs> John Julio on the Jump Street podcast. This is a treat. John, thank you so much for flying out just to be on our podcast. I know. That's crazy. No other reason to be here. <laughs> no other reason. <laughs> Truly honored to be here, though. Thank cool. you guys for huh? inviting me on. Awesome. John, what is new in your life? You just, um, oh. before we get into anything regarding skating, yeah. I know that you just had, uh, you had another kid, Nolan. I did. And you have, yeah. and Finley's three now. Finley's three. And Nolan is now four months. Got two beautiful boys. What about the puppy? Puppy's hating it right now. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's getting beat up. Beat up. He's not even getting. He's, he's getting a little getting neglected. Seconds. He's getting thirds. He's, he's getting oh. neglected a bit. Yeah. Damn. Such a yeah. It's a sad thing. But I mean, we give him love. But you know, <laughs> he's be- probably better off than a lot of other places, though. When he was just him, you know. Yeah. So. But that's good. How, but, uh, how is it? Uh, because you're still skating and everything, and you're running a business still. Yeah. So I, what's I, it like? You know, five in the morning. You know, try to fit it in. Um, inspired by Miguel Ramos. You know, we try to. Try to make it work, whether it be five in the morning, whether five it be in the morning, one legit in the morning. five in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Or after, you know, if I have like got like half an hour. Are you just up anyway? Are you just up really anyway at that time? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Sometimes earlier. Yeah. You know. Nowadays, I'm um, like I talk a lot to China for manufacturing, mm. and and not even that, just for customers in Europe and in Asia. So it's just a. You got to be up super early. Yeah, yeah. you're on every yeah. time schedule then, pretty much. Pretty much. I mean. I, it just doesn't seem like a big deal, so it's all part of it, you know, at this point. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot of uh, balancing, you know, and skating, I obviously, you know, fixes all that when right. it gets too stressful. Yeah. Because, I mean, Cause it's a lot. It seems, it's a like, lot. it seems like a lot. It is a lot. And it seems like a lot for a, a long time as well. <laughs> it feels like right? a long like time, there's, but there's endurance th- in, in there. In retrospective, it's only been since uh, we launched in February, so it hasn't even been, you know, a year or so, but it just seems like, like, six years or something yeah like so but. well not even them i just mean like this like way of life for you yeah oh yeah like, like you just getting up super early and just like oh that's been going on like, for a while yeah i guess yeah but i mean it's nothing to uh complain about you know yeah it's no, like totally. i'm totally fortunate to to be where i'm at and be able to live off it yeah and and just you know that's i'm devoted to it so there's no question about you know, oh, you work so hard. No, I mean, it's it's just part of it. It's life. So you're gonna I, be working anyway. Exactly. <laughs> you know exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather do this, obviously, right? Than, than uh, than a lot of different things, I guess. So mm-hmm. yeah. I can see that, like, that you, it paying off, but it just seems like it takes a lot more work. And it seems like you have a an ingrained, a uh, really strong work ethic ingrained in you. It's kind of yeah. naturally, you know, like anybody, you, you, you put yourself in your situation with the mic and, you know, you adjusted mm-hmm. it. You know, you yeah. just got to adjust to exactly. whatever, you know, comes in your way, mm-hmm. adversities mm-hmm. And, and contradictions or, or you know, um, I've been using this phrase a lot. You know, I just got tunnel vision, you know, at mm-hmm. some point and you just got to, you just got to put food on the table. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to, you got to get A to Z mm-hmm. and then whatever it takes. And you know, gotta stay positive no matter whatever comes in your way. Eye on the prize. Eye on the prize. That's all. That's awesome. Yeah, so, that's really cool. Yeah. Who do you? Who do you? Wh- what do you attribute that work ethic to? Just from like wanting to be uh, involved in skating so heavily, is it like a family thing that's been instilled in you? I mean, or I, like, is it just like wanting the dream to be so bad that and that you've not letting go? Like, what is the the thing that you attribute that that work ethic to? Just the belief. Well, in, I mean, or, I don't. I mean, sorry. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a good. Or at at one point, that's a lot of things, you know. Uh, at one point, it was from my parents because there was a lot of you know doubt, you know, on what I was capable of doing. Totally, I just get that. Being a skater mm-hmm. in general, you know, oh, I think yeah. everyone understands that. And then, you know, I didn't finish college. You know, I you know barely got through high school. You know, not proud of that. Barely got through yeah. high school. Well, I mean, I started traveling because of skating. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. In '95, mm-hmm. I graduated in '95. So, so you're not like, stupid. Wow. Well, <laughs> You get to, we can well, tell some, you. Some, some can tell say, you. Not some can say. <laughs> uh, so uh, I guess you know that that's was yeah, early motivation. I can but see that. you know nowadays it's just like um, we're all here for the long run mm-hmm. in one way or another. You know, like I, I would I would you know it's just a way of life. It's not really a 
I mean, the motivation is to, to obviously be successful and make sure stay in business. Mm -hmm. And, and as far as motivation, I, I look at other industries for sure, you mm -hmm. know, like on what, what, how are they making it? Work? What do you like reference? What are they doing? Right. What, what, why are they, like I want skateboarding, mm -hmm. uh, like similar action sports, action type sp stuff? Uh, you know, uh, I listen to a lot of different podcasts too. Mm -hmm. Um, is jump street one of them? Obviously. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've caught up, man. We're up there. Yeah. Number one on John's. Yeah. <laughs> on the shuffle. Exactly. I've got, you definitely, um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, uh, I just want to make this work and obviously it's, it's definitely, uh, um, it's a learning curve and, and I, I you know, I, I'm trying to find answers and, um, I'm trying to make less mistakes and, um, I listen to, you know, whether like I said, like skateboarding or streetwear or similar industries that are doing the same things, similar things, whether it be from production, like jewelry or watch companies or shoe companies, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I do, I'm just trying to figure out I mean, even companies that have went under, you know, and, and it's just interesting to hear other people's stories. Like, like I listen to other people's like stories, you know, and I try to like, you know, soak it up like a sponge and try to you know, apply that to what I'm doing or maybe not apply that because I wouldn't have done that, you know, that kind of stuff. Right. So see what um, they did right. See what they did yeah, wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and I don't by any means have all the answers by any means, because, uh, this is all new to me too. A mm -hmm. lot of this is new to me. Like them skates is a lot of different things that I've done this past year that I've never done in my life. And, um, whether that be production or, um, uh, importing exporting business um, which is a big one like and because uh, I've never done that before on this scale with hmm. skates um, but it's, it's like it's a lot of things communication mm -hmm. you know talking to the Chinese manufacturers and were you not doing that stuff with Valo because you had skates made in China as well with Valo yeah, um, it, I, I was always going through Italy so it was you would easier. talk to them and then they would yeah, go oh, okay. yeah and I mean, through 15 years, you, you grow a relationship and you get a system and mm -hmm. then you have to do less things and like all the, like going back to mistakes, then you don't do those mistakes anymore. Mm -hmm. You just, you go to, you do the you got tunnel vision and you do, you know, what course, you do, yeah. and then you figure mm -hmm. it out. Mm -hmm. So move forward. this is a whole new ball game with them skates because there's so many different things that I didn't do with Volo mm -hmm. that I'm doing now. Um, I love it. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's definitely a learning, learning curve of yeah. work. More rewarding too, though, I'm sure. Yeah, as of lately. <laughs> lately, it's yeah. Been, yeah. yeah. All the stress is gone and everything. Oh, oh I wouldn't say that, but it's, <laughs> it's uh, I don't know if the stress will ever go away. <laughs> I can see That's that. true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, totally, dude. It's but, like a massive, and it seems like, you know, w working through when you're working with Rossi and Valo, like through Italy, like they had at least a couple people over there working. It seems like you're taking all this on. You're wearing, yeah, you're wearing all the hats almost, right? Definitely all the hats. Yeah. From And it's kind. Of, it's actually a lot of fun, you know, it's like. Maybe yeah, of camera work, be. it's like you're learning every part of the camera, mm -hmm. you know? You know every little piece and you mm -hmm. know how it all works and mm -hmm. and and I'm starting to figure it out. I think it's know? just like a learning that's, that's, thing in that's general. That's really cool to learn. I'm yeah. sure it's like has its stressful moments like where because you're learning a gorilla and it's like a yeah. make or break situation, yeah. but like Putting because you're fires. forced yeah. to learn it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. Cool yeah. But, and it's like, I, I wish I like did this a long time ago. A lot, a lot, of, different, a lot of different things it, that, you know, take to run the skate company and mm. but uh yeah and it's all you too it's like no like managers under you or anything like that it's uh, not my like a viola's good advisor yeah. my wife she's okay. amazing mm -hmm. she's gotten my back through this whole thing um since day one mm -hmm. you know like she she was actually telling she told me uh, i've said this before she's like you know if you gotta do it like, mm -hmm. like uh, if you don't try then she you told me about the know. post office job i wish <laughs> i wouldn't say she took me she talked me out of it it was just like she said the right things you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, at the post office job would have been there later. It can yeah. be. Or, or any job mm -hmm. if you really. Yeah, pretty much. Because that job was like, I mean, I have no disrespect toward that job at all. I mean, it's still, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, nothing. It's still a job with food yeah. on the table and everything. Yeah, for sure. But um, it's, uh, I don't know. Kinda, it wasn't for yeah. you, obviously. obviously. I, I, I mean, I, now in, the, in you, retrospect, I would be like, maybe I, I can. Well, you had Find an opportunity, a right? or something. You had an opportunity. Yeah, yeah so. so I think we. I speak for the whole blading community when I'm happy that you didn't take the post office job and you decided to go this route because <laughs> it. it seems that like 
it's, I mean, it's been talked about before too, but like 2018, even though a lot of good and bad things happened in the blading community, this is like we really seen like our true colors kind of because everybody yeah. backed you when them skates was announced, whatever. Yeah. Um, you know, selling out pre-orders or whatever. The Rob G thing, like mm -hmm. all, all the support behind that as well. It's like it's a, uh, it's crazy to see all that. It's a great city community. Yeah, great community. Yeah, yeah. And we really. That's what I'm saying. We really shined 2018. Yeah, that's uh, good or bad. <sighs> you can really tell what kind of people skaters are. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I mean, more good than anything. Yeah, uh, it's un unbelievable. We're yeah. not those punk kids running around the streets <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah, <we're not> <laughs> now, right? And I, I could totally see Viola being like someone to convince you to do that because she's like. From what I know of her, she's got like that, as she told me, like, and shows, like, she has like German work ethic. Yeah. She's like super definitely. hard worker. So, you guys, mm -hmm. as two yeah. super hard workers, I could see motiv yeah. motivating one another. Yeah. And, and ideas. And she was, she, you know, she went to school for design. So, she has a really good eye for, for a lot of things, like, you know, whether it be color, I mean, any, everything. And she did architecture design. So, oh, that's awesome. I didn't know she did that. Yeah. And, and she sacrificed a lot for our relationship too because she went to school, she got a college graduate, she was working a good job in um, Venice Beach. Um, but we were, you know, we we're kind of going this way. She also she, moved to America. And she she <laughs> yeah. moved all the way out here for yeah. me. You know, she obviously yeah. that's a huge sacrifice. Yeah. So, and then she had a, actually, she had a career kind of started. And then I, we didn't ever see each other for like maybe a year. She was working there. Like, so what are we going to do? You know? So she changed her career. We saw more each of each other, and our relationship got better. And two kids later, <laughs> yeah, amazing, yeah. So nothing but good stuff. Shout out to my my nothing beautiful good wife. Stuff. Shout out Viola. Like, <laughs> it seems like you have like obviously a lot of accomplishments with everything, whether it be like skating or non skating through your family, whatever. Um, since you've done so much in blading, what do you think your proudest accomplishment would be? Whether it's the first contest you won or the first company you started, uh, I don't know, I might tell you something like that. Like, what do you think is most proud for you? Right now, I know exactly what it is. It's this new Sean Darce Pro Skate. That's like the biggest accomplishment Damn, just of dropping my life. bombs like that. Yeah, no. It's, only, it's, only 29 minutes in, damn. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, that's that's the truth. Yeah. You know? That's, like, so that's like your big number deal. one. Okay. Well, so. It's a huge deal. For, it's just like bigger well, than we'll get into the We'll get into why it's a big deal. Skate. We'll get into why it's a big deal later. Yeah. yeah. Um, so right now, that's your... Definitely. Because you're kind of like reinventing the business side of the blading oh, I wouldn't, industry. I don't want to say that because I don't know what people have done like <clears throat> behind their doors, but I know what I've done in you my know, like, is, You have enough experience to know. You know everybody who skated for every company ever. Yeah, but you know... Maybe I don't. I don't want to pretend like I know everything. Okay. You know. So okay. I, as far I, as I definitely, you know, we, we as a collective, as a as a group of good friends, like have talked about different situations to, mm -hmm. and why or how come it's like not like this. And I've talked about this in another podcast, but we're actually doing it. So wait a minute, you've been on other podcasts uh, besides us. You're cheating on us. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm married now though too. Not yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters. But uh, I did not expect that answer though. That's crazy. Really? What did you think I was going to say? I don't know. I just, I don't know. We're talking about skating. Yes. Yeah, skating. Yeah. skating yeah. <laughs> I just like, well, so so recent. It, it's, it's, a, it's a good question oh, because, because it's a pretty, yeah, yeah. it's a big deal. It's so, a, that's good. Currently the biggest deal. I that's have. a huge answer because you have like, exactly. Like how, how many, we were trying to figure out how many companies did you like own? Oh, that's there was like Dinah and like Runners. Pro there were yeah. so many things. Project, I was affiliated with Dinah and Runners through, with Eric Garcia mm -hmm. and Zeke was involved with, um, at the time it was Paradigm Distribution. So um, I never like owned any of it. I mean, I never had any paper that said I owned it, mm -hmm. but I definitely, I would say a big face yeah, to the yeah. whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I didn't never really wanted to have an ownership in it either. I just looked at it as a great opportunity to make cool stuff and, and you know, as a younger as a younger kid designing kind of get in a there. different um I mean they're in NorCal based too. That's like home. Yeah, and totally. All my good friends from the Bay, you know, mm -hmm. back then with John Starr and the Zeke Way and mm -hmm. Nick Riggle and Jay Reduda and uh I don't wanna miss out on anybody. B Smith. B Smith, yes. of course. Sorry. Mm -hmm. B. <laughs> I love you, B. Shout out B Smith. B Smith. <laughs> but uh um yeah, I mean that was a that was one part of my life. Obviously, England yeah. clothing. I did own totally. part of England clothing. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, uh -huh. At some point, I did have steak and Volo. At mm -hmm. some point, yeah. for sure. Uh, that's about it, though. I mean, I've been involved okay. a lot. Of that's companies. still a lot. It, like, I'm YTA. I'm YTA. Yeah. I'm YTA. Yeah. The timeline though is long. Cup. Since like 
what was the first one? Dinah? Was it the, Dinah the first one? Or oh, Bonus Project? England. Well, oh, England. Yeah, England. England, England yeah, so that's like, real... was that even 90s? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's yeah, been a long late time. 90s, so it's been over I mean, 18 years. Was it late 90s? 19, 19, 19, 18, so... 19 new years? It's a long time. Fact check. Right? So everything was like a learning process. To, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, did, I really got behind like the computer and learned like more about design with like people like Brooke Howard Smith and Pat Parnell who mm. are big in the design side of things with England clothing. I uh, learned how to do like, you know, line sheets and Illustrator and Photoshop and they were already ahead of their time. Yeah. They're, you know, Brooke was doing Senate and mm -hmm. Pat Parnell, I don't know, he's, he's been involved in a lot of like creative um, avenues in his life and he was, uh, he was on the head of like a lot of things when back then I remember being like, wow, how do you do that? Or, you know, mm -hmm. so um, I definitely learned a lot from that period of my life um, and video, obviously mm -hmm. also. Um, uh, we made the England video. I made it with uh, Brian Smith and TJ Weber. Mm -hmm. um, and TJ was, he was also ahead of his time, not in just blading, but mm -hmm. like the computer guy, computer right? editing. Yeah. And, and uh, he brought like a lot of motion graphics and he just knew, I mean, I feel like as bladers, we all kind of have like, yeah, we all idea of like artistic what, yeah. stuff too. And we all pick stuff up from one another. So. Yeah. So TJ, obviously the skating was next level, but I mean, he also, you know, as you guys, you have, yeah, you know, yeah. You can always see that translates over too. Like yeah. you have other skill, like, like skating builds your character as a person, not just as a skater. So exactly. like you can tell when somebody's like, like half, he's like one of the best skaters and he's he could do everything like from yeah. his feet section, you know, like where he does juggling and all that stuff too. Mm -hmm. Well, he's, like, he's different, man. He can do everything. Well, he, he's, he's the, the he's best another, at everything. I'm just using him as an example because <laughs> he's the easiest he example to true. make. Yeah. 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 But that's how it is though. Yeah. Yeah. It really shows your character as yeah. a skater. I mean like Brandon, photography, Stockwell, you oh, know, yeah. shoot yeah. back rack with mm -hmm. film and mm -hmm. obviously mm -hmm. Dave Payne and yeah. I miss Vinnie Mitten. You know, oh, yeah, like, yeah. There's a lot Everyone's of successful people yeah. like yourself. You know, yeah. uh, Yvonne. Yvonne. Mm -hmm. but, uh, well, I have a question. Sure. There's something I want to know. <laughs> uh, was IMYT like the first street contest like out of, oh, that, yeah. out of all the action I, I, sports? I, actually wanted, I was talking to myself when I was listening to the I don't know the, the answer to this. this. Podcast. <laughs> I was like, oh, I got the answer to that yeah. when I was listening to the podcast. But uh, uh, it yes. was actually the Amsterdam street contest. Uh, I don't know if that was a real name for it, but... Uh, they were the first street contest. Like in, in blading. all blading? action sports? I, I would or? say in all action sports because really? they were throwing the contest in um, in Amsterdam. Who was involved in that? I I've never heard of that. Right now. You heard of that, Fish? Um, I have heard of it, yeah. but I, I don't know if anyone say anything on the YouTube. I, I can't remember Pete Effer's name, but... Has anyone heard of that? The so, Amsterdam street contest? Yeah, they were the first before, before so that, us. So that, it was like similar format, though? It was like... Um, it was definitely free. I mean, we we did the match or trick type thing. Yeah. And I, they weren't doing that, but mm -hmm. they were doing the street contest first. Mm -hmm. Did you like use them as like a reference or get your ideas from them? Um, or? we actually ended up working together, which was rad because okay. like, I mean, there was no animosity of course, but, um, toward maybe the second year or third year, um, they started running the IMYTA in Europe for, with us. Well, okay. Both, like, All the Europe IMYTAs? Oh, not yeah. just the Amsterdam one? So that's how like, the Paris um, yeah. and the Amsterdam one came to well, be? Well, the Paris one was already, was just me, Zeke, and Mike Wilson. We were just already doing it. And okay. I don't want to put anybody else out, but it was just us three. We were the main figureheads mm -hmm. that, cool. that ran it. Mike was doing like the logistical stuff and obviously Zeke Wade was the MC and I was mm -hmm. whatever I can do on, on every other end promoting it and yeah. whatnot. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, that was, that's the whole story with, with that. Okay, cool. Yeah. They helped with the Amsterdam one, I guess. Oh, uh, they, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, they did that. And um, I would say we the second Fran France one, I think they might have been involved in that too because we went back to Bercy. Um, but they, they, yeah, they were a big connection for us to, to run things. like Because I heard that story like about, like what was it, Chad Musk ago? Yeah, to that's true. He, San Francisco I was there. RTA. Well, that and year, like, what are you X, guys Games, doing X Games did have role betting in it. Okay. It did have role playing. On that year, I got kicked off the, the third ramp because I wasn't uh, allowed to film. And um, I don't know. That wasn't the reason why we did the street contest, but I was just like, it gave me even more like mm -hmm. rebellious, you know? I was right. Like, right. Oh, kick me out the third ramp. I skated, yeah. man. I'm part of the. Yeah, I'm yeah. Competing. You're competing, yeah. And they're like, no. And then the camera guy was such a dick to me, I remember. And uh, anyway, it was we had blading. I think Aaron Feinberg might have won that year. Um, but, uh, but you did it like adjacent to the, the yeah, okay. yeah. And, and Chad Muska did come by. We or? had a day one, the first day, which wasn't the contest and people okay. were just skating it. And we were, me and Z, all of us were, there was a group of us 
and uh, we were just checking out spots. And like, this would be a sick one. People were already skating it, you know. Like, uh, I think it was Billy Prislin. I think he was the one who grinded right after the security guard. Security guard came out, but Chad mm-hmm. Muska was up there. I remember being like, "Oh, damn!" He was on top of the stairs. Room? He's the top stairs. Oh, like, shit, he's gonna do it. That. Yeah, and I was like. I wonder if he's gonna do it. You know. Oh, he had the deck too. Yeah, he has deck up oh, there. He was like, like, he was like, uh, what you call measuring it up. Yeah. And then uh, he just. But Muska doesn't steps. like bladers, right? I wouldn't say he doesn't like it, but I mean, I, I thought he was like the biggest dick to bladers out of like all like the pro skateboarders. Um, from my experience, no. He oh, okay. Wasn't. But I'm also not friends with him either, so I, I was about to ask if you like really are friends with like if you no. know him personally or something. I don't like know. Him. I've met him before, but I'm not. I don't know him personally. He wasn't like. He was never a dick to me. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. So. Maybe but it's just rumors. He was. At, I, I would want to say. I mean, he was kind of hyped on it because we were, you know, doing it, and the security guard came out. Yeah. You know, and he was like, "Oh, damn!" And then I think Billy landed it, mm-hmm. and then he was like hyped on that, and then he just kind of walked away. But I was like, "Weird." This fool's not going to do this. Yeah, rail, yeah. Man. This is a big. Rail. I mean, he's done big rails for sure. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it was funny because oh, like cool. the uh, the when we posted on our Instagram that you were going to be on, we were like, you had like an announcement to make, whatever. And the most common announcement, I mean, the most common comment was that you were going to bring back the IMYTA. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> and, and it's funny um, because I, on the under more recently, been kind of working on it. So, mm. I mean, I don't have anything solid yet, but it's looking pretty good for... That's good. For, I mean, I, don't, I can't announce anything yet about that. That's yeah, a, that was, but you would like to bring it back. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's I think just, everybody it's, would I think everybody that. would, it just Those has a lot to fun. do with logistics, obviously yeah. insurance and the right place and city. Right. It's so hard. Yeah. But the good thing about me living in Santa Ana, I've kind of, you know, kind of, uh, have a stake with like the property owner down yeah. there who, and he's like very supportive of whatever I want to do. Obviously, but then you're up. limited to Santa Ana. Yeah. For the least the first one, I mean to yeah, do it, to do just, something. just to yeah. like do something. Like a true street contest again. Yeah. With yeah. permits and everything yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah. And it's an idea. And I, I just, you know, straight up, I sent him an email and he was like, let's do it. And, Damn. and but wow, then, that's cool. Yeah. But it's like, you know, it's different. There's one thing to say is do it. And then, but then another thing to, yeah, to course, get it done. To get it oh, done. Yeah. So that's my, I have like mm-hmm. a few, a few things to, but how long did like, list. how long did like oh. blading cup get? And you already have off. so much on your plate already. Yeah. So I'm sure it's not a priority. Yeah. yeah. yeah sure. It's, you know, as things kind of get, um, you know, uh, smoothened out with them, uh, and hopefully in the next year, I mean, as I think it's a priority, I feel like, that's cool. This nostalgia thing is very strong yeah. in blading and mm-hmm. um, if fucking anything to make things grow, you know? Of course. You know? Would you do that and the blading cup together? Like It's an idea. Both? It's an idea. It was, it was so an idea. So have a street idea. contest and yeah, a park it contest like idea. a different time of the year or something? Yeah, he actually brought that up, but mm-hmm. it's a lot of planning still. So yeah. it's, that, again, blading I Blading like, cup for sure is like... Uh, yeah, dude, away. that's, you know, I'm excited right now, like not just for the skate company, but because blading cup has gotten so much support. Like, yeah. In the last two months, like we raised about four, four and a half grand, nice. and uh, we hadn't never raised that much and that fast, and, mm-hmm. and since the TV year we did on TV, mm-hmm. and so that's you know that's pretty much all going to prize money. So um, I'm pretty stoked on that, and I don't know, a lot of people are committed to coming, so mm-hmm. and it's it's cool. It's early in the game to to know that people are coming from all over the world, from yeah, Italy yeah. to Germany and Asia, mm-hmm. so. It's cool. That's pretty cool. It's like yeah. an annual staple people can count on every year yeah, to show I know. up and mm-hmm. their friends will be it's, there. And It's definitely the happening this year. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's what we got yeah. in America now. It's not like bitter cold or anything like that anymore. And yeah. I guess in Europe, they have their winter clash. It's, so we have... I hate to bring up another cup. event, but me and Miguel and Reina have been working on another event. I mean, we've been doing it. It's called the Forecast. Mm-hmm. We were doing it. Yeah, with, yeah. We did it with OB mm-hmm. last year. He hosted it at his local park. But we uh, went to Bakersfield um last month and we visited this other skate indoor skate park one of the probably the only ones left maybe there's maybe two in southern california mm-hmm. in la area well anyways it's bakersfield and it's a perfect like environment like very similar vibe to um i would say a bitter cold like the ramps are mm-hmm. you know well made and they're bigger obviously and mm-hmm. it's like a launch box type park but it has some different funky obstacles and um it's just a well it's a really cool like facility like mm-hmm. it has everything you need and she, the lady who owns it she's amazing her um i think it's her grandson i think he's a he was a scooter kid and um but they're open to any events really you mm-hmm. know so they have skateboarding and i think they have bmx but and then she she loves us thanks to miguel and matt mickey obviously matt mickey shout, yeah. out, matt shout mickey. out matt mickey shout out miguel <laughs> yeah um anyway 
that's happening for sure. Nice. And uh, that's happening uh, January 12th. So we're going to try to do the same kind of vibe. That's 100%? 100%. No shit. Nice. Yeah. I mean, she's, she hit me up before I came out here like, a couple weeks ago. And she, you know, we just confirmed that the actual date. So That's good because I'm pissed I can't make it to the Bleeding Cup because I'm working that weekend too. Oh, really? So uh, January 12th. Yeah. Okay. I got to mark it down. But it's also a weekend. January is slow though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> That's good That's though. More events. Everyone loves the events. Everyone gets together. Yeah. And, and it'll be January and it'll be cold, you know, cold everywhere in the world. But California. Except there. Yeah. Except California here. is going to be California weather. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Especially Bakersfield. Yeah. It's going to be too hot in the summer. Yeah. It's, it's good <laughs> for January. Yeah. yeah. I've never been. I can't imagine what it would be like skating an indoor park in Bakersfield in the summer. Oh, but in we January, were there. We were there perfect. and it was like 100 degrees. I bet. It was so I, tough. I can't do the event right now. Yeah. Jeez. But, you know, Matt Mickey's, you know, hometown in oh, January, yeah. he's going to host, you know, it's going to be sick. So. He's the best MC, too, at any <laughs> event. Any he event. so much energy. Yeah. yeah I, I, well, I don't want to say the best because there's a bunch of good ones. Yeah. So I don't, I don't want to just like, yeah. oh, but he's up there. Mm-hmm. He's so good. He was. Good did, did you see him at that, uh, at like the Nitro Games when he was doing it? He was doing Nitro Games? Yeah, he, he did uh, the MC at the Nitro Games. It's really good. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. Didn't see it. Yeah, it was really cool. Damn. He was born for it. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to watch your section soon, but I just want to ask you a couple things first. Mm-hmm. We still got more things. What yeah. tricks did you actually invent? Yeah. I think that's like people want to... There was like a... Some confirmation. This grind called the sidewalk. I'm pretty popular. Okay. Inventing. That's you. I that one. That's you. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yes. Yeah, that's definitely me. I've, uh, cause I've been that was my favorite grind when I was a kid. Well, there's like a... I mean, Ortiz had some, you know, very... I mean, I... I I feel where he was coming from when he brought up his like the East Coast like like names for tricks. So right. I mean, I, mean I, I grew up in this industry around the same the same t- period basically. Yeah. So on the West but, Coast, uh, yeah, different side of the country. Different. Different. It was different. So you know we could have been doing the same grinds, but calling them the same time. Mm-hmm. I maybe I would just so happen to get the coverage. You know, I got the magazine ad or yeah. But what know. about the name though? The name would be yeah Unity. I that, I, I mean with with that unit with Unity grind, um, I was skating with John Starr. And um, Randy Burnell from the Bay Area, okay. um, and we were at Silver Creek, and we were just like, "Let's try this grind with our legs crossed," you know. And, and mm-hmm. uh, I think John might have done it, and I did it, and uh, Randy was doing it. And we're like, and then we didn't have a name for it, you know. And maybe mm-hmm. to the next day or so, we're like, "Let's just call it Unity," mm-hmm. you know. It kind of has like, you know, you're crossing your legs. Dude, yeah. I never, I never knew that. I didn't know you invented the Unity. <laughs> the Unity so was cool. the only thing besides the well, sidewalk. I, mean, I was pretty sure going that was back you to and like Star being there and Burnell yeah, being well, there. Well, your crew, you guys, yeah. and then being like, "We got it. We yeah. got to do this. We got to name it." And then yeah. I had the Cosmo ad, and then I had the first actual printed. Like maybe I wasn't the first printed, but mm-hmm. it definitely had a some sort of impact mm-hmm. I had, you know i did a unity down this rail in san diego and yeah i so think it's hard so, to like so, so we got sidewalk yeah. yeah we got the unity <laughs> anything uh, else mistrial. on the mistrial what yeah. yeah did anybody know that damn miguel yeah. shaking okay. his head he's like i know everything okay. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about mistrial again like and that trick name that well name, yeah i mean then i think up. that's what establishes but the trick because again, anybody could have done anything at any point but if like you name the trick and it stuck then you kind of it's your trick. yeah but again there was that name on the like in, in the east coast it would have been called something else and mm-hmm. what was the what did farm was farm call it uh there's another name overpuss overpuss mm-hmm. oh, there you go Australia. so it, it just depends on where you're from and mm-hmm. what period of time i mean it doesn't matter the period of time actually it's just like who was around you know obviously we didn't have social media mm-hmm. we had print magazines yeah. and and um yeah but anyway okay but real quick sidewalk cool name unity cool name Mistrial. What happened? What's, what's going on? Mistrial. I, you know what? I <laughs> I was trying it so many times, I think, and I just kept on like, messing up. Mm-hmm. And, then, uh, and then one day, I think it was at Stanford. I did it on VG. What was my profile? Fuji Four. Mm-hmm. I did it on a King Trail. It's like Stanford King yeah. Trail. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was one of the first real ones. I was like, but mm-hmm. that's the period of time that it, that I was using that name. But How did you come up with the name Sidewalk then? You didn't Man, do it on a sidewalk it, curb. It was definitely not much thought. Yeah, it was just those days. Okay. It was just those days. I was just no like it spiritual deep. experience. No, no okay. totally. It's just like you know, like certain tricks. Okay, for example, like you know, soul or uh, you know, backslide makes sense. Like, like a fast slide, like yeah, a unity makes yeah. sense. Like, it's like oh, Nugan? unity. There's that a few. Do, that doesn't make sense. well. <laughs> you wonder. I don't no. know. Is there anything Check else? Out. No. This is partly a history show. That's pretty. That's pretty much it that I can actually put my name next to, maybe. That's good. Even time. having one to put your name next to is pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. So I knew the, I remember like my brother, when I first started skating, my brother got me into it. He told me that you, 
invented the Unity, and that was like ninety, I don't know, ninety six, ninety seven, something like that. And I like, I honestly can say that I've been wondering that since then, and I've never in like all the times that we like hung out, whatever. I never asked you. It took twenty years. It took twenty years. Twenty two <laughs> years. Twenty two years. Everyone's pointing out your little shiner on your elbow, by the way. Oh yeah, that was today. That was it's my. <laughs> A little cherry. People are calling it the what, was that at the first spot or the second? It was. Um, what was the first spot today? The rail to rail monument. Oh, I didn't even. No, I didn't do anything. There. So was that the? That was the quarterback. I tried to soul stall the. the <sighs> I missed it. Is that the same arm you messed up? No, it's this one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got even but it I out. I thought I was messed. Got to even it out, right? Huh? <laughs> you got to yeah, even it out right now. All the pain's over there right now. So what, what has been your worst fall in skating? Uh, besides I don't really my hand, this one breaking my hand. I broke that was my, one of your worst falls. Yeah. Really? Because well, I never broke anything with my hands before, or anywhere in my limbs. My face, I broke my jaw in two places, but okay. I ran into somebody in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Um, a rollerball. You know that rollerball thing back in the day? Yeah. Like, he was a rollerballer, and he was dropping in. He's a big dude, too. He's like Zekoi size. Mm-hmm. And we both dropped in at the same time, and he put his helmet down. Or no, his shoulder down, and I put my helmet down. Mm-hmm. And I, I hit his shoulder, and my helmet hit his face, and Damn. he like cut his face open super big mm. and blood was everywhere and my i looked fine but i got knocked out for like a few seconds mm-hmm. whatever and then i went to the doctor in chicago and they're like yeah you broke your face here and here so did like, you have to why why are you why shot? my shot yeah Damn. for like it was a month but <laughs> that's still pretty bad yeah they kind but you. the good thing about that maybe is like i was <laughs> I you, didn't really have to wear a cast or anything. You didn't have any scars, too. I'm sure that guy's no face is all... Yeah. I mean, got like a buck 50 on his face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah you're good. <laughs> what, what happened with your wrist, though? He'll never forget John Julio. Like soul grind on oh, his curve really? ledge. It's just trick. a freak accident. I just... Yeah. It was such the it's worst always a, time. It's always a freak accident. Like, it never is big things. It's yeah. always like a little curb or mm-hmm. P-rail or something like that. Yeah. It was worse timing because, like, it was right before the skates arrived. All the work. And then right do. when my kid was born. So mm-hmm. I couldn't change any diapers. Uh, and I couldn't, you know, ooh. and I had, <laughs> damn, that's bad luck, man. Yeah, that's dude. rough. The old, skates, the, the well, was <laughs> she, she was, you know, obviously yeah, I know for sure. Yeah. But like, I was just, I was messing with her. I was like, yeah, my hand actually isn't broken. <laughs> yeah. I don't like months later, you're like, I don't know. The hand still kind of hurts a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no cast. Doctor cleared you like two months prior. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking a fake cast. Yeah. Like a Spencer's oh, gift cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's I can't it, believe man. that those are your worst falls. It's crazy. I mean, I, I I did some bad stuff with my ankle one year, like ninety seven, but and I couldn't skate. For ankles a while. to me are like the worst. I guess I hands up to use them, thing. but yeah. Like, yeah, ankles like you walk on them all the time, so yeah. they never heal. I think I tore. It could take like over a year to heal. Yeah, yeah, and it took like six months. Yeah, so six months like, is pretty short actually. Yeah, to where I I actually felt a little bit better about mm-hmm. skating, but yeah, that's pretty much it so far. Oh, good for you. Yeah. <laughs> on wood. Good yeah, that is good. Long career, and that's uh, it's not too bad. Did you want to get to? Oh, that's right. Sorry, we're gonna watch your England section section because we want to hear about stories and little back things that happened. The and, whole and section? We're gonna watch the whole part. Oh, damn, really? Yeah, yeah we are. It's a long time. Every <laughs> every time we have a guest on the show, we put on a part. Okay. And they, you know, we talk through it. What's that section we called? Don't, okay. You know, we don't gotta stare at it. What, we, what's that section called? What's that part called? The John Hulu's England part? No, no, no. The part, the segment of a show. Yeah, what's the, the look called? back? I don't know. Oh, look look oh yeah, we're calling fakey it look the, back. Uh, <laughs> the fakey look back, where we look back in time. Even though it's not and even, we watch even your it's old not even a trick. parts, and we dissect those times, and we make the sparks in your brain come up from those past times, and you get to say, "Wow, and I remember are, when this happened." People actually mentioned you wearing Sounds the England nice. hat, and people would. I think right. I think people would <laughs> like to hear that. But first, but first, <laughs> before we get into that, we have to get into our second sponsor of today's show. Got a shout out, Rudy at RudyNewYork.com. Shout out Rudy. Rudy is a company founded in 2018 in New York City by Ryan Lowey. The company is heavily inspired by Basement, Dead, Too Easy, Them Skate, and the like. Rudy's goals is to follow in the footsteps of the great New York brands like Casualty and Be Unique. They want to carry on the legacy and take it a step further. Rudy has some of the best clothes and a great team. Their team is Tad Labazetta from uh, Connecticut, but he's in New York of New York and... I don't know. He's always around Brooklyn. He's a Brooklyn guy too. Joey Lunger, Nick Fatato, Mal Ashby, and Young Juice. If you don't <laughs> know Young Juice, you better get yourself checked out because Young Juice got the skills. So I'm going to shout it out one more time at RudyNewYork.com. Thanks for sponsoring the show. If you like Rudy New York and you like like really fine, amazing, cool clothes and cool teams and people ripping, 
Rudy is for you. Rudy New York. That's at RudyNewYork.com. Thank you very much, Ryan Lowey, and check out Rudy New York. So. Oh, show. John, are you ready John for this? Julio. England. Oh, man. Are you all ready for this out there? Also, we have a giveaway later we're going to yeah. talk about. Oh, so everybody. can I do something before? I have a gift for you guys. Oh. I mean, if what? I don't want to forget. What? What? I mean, I, I didn't know I, this. Uh, what? It's covered in everything. I know the, uh, from the first <laughs> episode, you, you guys were talking about certain something. So, um, JP actually. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Is that a custom I, foam roller? Also, yeah, to the best of my ability. <laughs> I mean, what? I don't ruin the wow. Let me, uh, that is sick. Yeah. So we, we went and got a foam roller. I mean, you can leave it here. Whatever. We could, you got, we could share up, it. You got we the pull up bar. Yeah. So <laughs> we could do oh, like. I didn't do my 10 We could do like. Oh, yeah, you didn't do your 10. You got to do it. What? I, wow. What? That's legit. <laughs> that is legit. The logo on That there. is the most legit foam roller I've ever seen. Jump Street <laughs> foam roller. Wow. That is sick. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs> Damn. Amazing. We're all getting older, right? It's our first gift. This is, is going to keep us getting This is going to be yours because you don't have a foam roller. As, you know, one old guy to, a, to another. another. You know what? On this one, we'll, we'll put another J sticker here. So it'll be Jump Street, but it'll be JJ. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah, so, so we always know where it came from. <laughs> thank you it very remind much. You, uh, yeah, you, thank you I so remind much. you of your pain. That's like, our first gift. You know. <laughs> That's going to add about five years into the skate tank. There you go. <laughs> so now, onto the section. Okay, first and foremost, can we have an it, introduction? When was this section done? 99? 99, I would say 99. Um, made it with... Anything uh, you want to say before we begin with it? Uh, Pat Parnell, Brooke Howard Smith hated it. The whole video or your whole section? The whole video. Oh. <laughs> so that's rough. They just hated your Maybe. Maybe. Why'd they hate the whole video? I wouldn't video? say they hated it. They, didn't, they thought it could have been a lot better. Really? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I was pretty bummed on it. I mean, Damn. back then I was like... Put so much work in it. Were you really bummed on it? Uh, I was bummed on them not liking it. Yeah. Oh, bummed on them not liking it. Yeah, I mean, I loved it. I'm glad you guys like. It. I mean, I'm glad people like it, but I didn't actually finish it either. Like the last Dustin section, I like, I just kind of like was done, and mm-hmm. then that was it. I How long like, did it take the film? Was it like is that a reason for it? Or I mean, just... it's a collective effort. Like Brian Smith filmed a lot, and TJ and um, me, of course. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I mean, it's been two years, I would say. Mm-hmm a long time yeah maybe two years i feel like videos were quicker back then too maybe a year and a half yeah yeah but uh all right well yeah sorry you'd be like no (laughs) wow this is a tribe called mtv sports and music festival right yeah that was amazing ladies and gentlemen anyone watching the show i don't know if you know but rollerblading used to be on mtv and john (laughs) used to hang out with a tribe called before the jersey shore john Uh it was john julio (laughs) <laughs> that was incredible like we uh <laughs> look at that crowd yeah it was crazy to be up there yeah so like because you were an athlete you got the whole backstage yeah yeah it was like it was cool because we like, we did two years in a row and and the first year was obviously amazing for me because of uh of tribe and then i was a big wu-tang fan too mm-hmm. but like next year the next year was wu-tang and like petty me and petty you know petty is a big wu-tang fan mm-hmm. too and it was like we got to hang out and that's sick. Like they're in backstage and you know, it was definitely a crazy experience. Didn't you like interview Wu Tang guy in head case live? I did. Jizza? I did. Ma- oh, Ma- Master Killer. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Yes. It was a crazy experience. Damn. Yeah. I met, I met, I got to meet him through Tyler Shields. That's really cool. Yeah. Connect. Yeah. And we like drove through Brooklyn in a rental car. He rented a car. He picked us up, um, at this random like ghetto bar. I don't even know where they like, in Brooklyn, we some sketchy ass bar. There's yeah. like signs on the wind on the wall, the mirror. It said like, "No guns, no knives, no <laughs> no like uh-uh. weapons." They had drawings of them. And uh, anyway, sorry, this is like oh. about the video, right? No, 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 no. This, uh, but it was a. I always remember that photo, that 360 photo, <laughs> so sick in Daily Bread. This is in Brazil. I see you've been going to Brazil for a minute. Though. Yeah, I was. Uh, that was the time I was dating Fabiola, and okay. I would go to Brazil like. Uh, Oh two, yeah, that, two you, times. You, you guys were like year. the Brad Jelena of Blading. Back <laughs> oh <today>. my god, <laughs> totally. We were like, what? John Julio and Fabiola yeah. are dating. <laughs> this is probably the best yeah. mini ramp line ever. The also. Groms were stoked. I'm telling you, we were yeah. like, oh, that's cool, man. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, man. Um, you know, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes there's nothing to Steph, say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, all these tricks too. When, yeah. when I moved to these, this place is gone, right? It's still there, but you can't ski in the rails. They got capped. Uh, 
Yeah, there was like one in the back that you can still skate, but that's good. Those really got abused. Yeah. This was also this is my hometown, Milpitas. Actually, this is Lane View. Y'all been to Lane View? Right? Is that the bike rack? Yeah. That... No, that's nah. not the bike rack. <laughs> that bike rack was in uh, UCLA. Who's this? This DJ? is my buddy uh, um, Mel, DJ Mel. Um, he was in a few skate video things. Yeah, right? I think I seen did him a remix. Remix. Yeah, okay. he mixed like uh, half the video. I don't know, he mixed the whole video. Did he? Yeah, I think he did. Dang, that's yeah. did he, he obviously skated, right? No. Oh, he he's didn't? just a good friend of mine I grew up with. Yeah, Dang. he was a DJ for Sound and Sounds Bispo on the radio. He's a radio DJ. And uh just I mean, played He's or? just a good friend. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, just yeah, a yeah. Person? Okay. He's just a good homie. That's sick. Yeah. And this is San Jose. Crazy. You can't skate this spot anymore. They put like bricks, like vertical bricks on it. Any spot with a perfect bank you can't skate anymore. No, yeah. it's all over. No. The man's against us on that one. Mm -hmm. How are you guys filming this? Were you like passing the camera back and forth or um, what's what's this? Yeah, about? pretty much. Uh, this is a Bones ad that I was in. What happened? Featured for Shorties, and uh, it I, you know I was it was kind of contradictory, young stupidity on my part mm -hmm. because I should have been stoked. Bone Swiss, Bone Swiss. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I was sponsored by. Um, I, sh I was definitely stoked, but like uh, Bones, obviously a skateboard company, mm -hmm. and. Um, Shorty's obviously a skateboard company too yeah. and they make bearings whatever but they're competitors with Bones and their marketing was to you know point out whatever you know vulnerabilities that that company had mm -hmm. to kill the competition basically yeah. and like oh they're making roll blade products mm -hmm. so let's put this ad in our ad in the Thrasher which is so, like a, a photo of you it was that photo so you yeah. were in Thrasher yeah it was pretty sick actually Whoa, that's <laughs> yeah. but they were trying to like it, it, they were trying <laughs> to <laughs> I was like yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, were, were, were they trying to be facetious in the ad oh yeah they the they're just like you guys are just, you guys can't support this company they, they sponsor role players basically mm, you know okay. but and and I was burning it because I don't know I it was stupidity angry um, youth yeah, it was yeah. Like, I mean I wasn't burning it in spite of, of bones any means I was just like I don't know what it, what they were trying to do. Yeah. Well, no, I get it. Like, you know what you know, I mean? it's like, like, but see, I, back then I didn't know what that was. I just thought you were burning something. Yeah, I didn't yeah, really I know, know what that was. Bones that, yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I think that was before. I was actually hyped. That I was in the Thrashers. I was That's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was You're in Trans Thrasher. World. I was like, dude, <laughs> I'm in all these magazines. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd be more hyped than like than than Arlo's thing in, in Big Brother, for example. Like that was just a kind of photo. And be yeah. Like, oh, you know. Yeah. It wasn't like they were intentionally. Even though Arlo's yeah. thing was pretty cool too. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's it's, de it's definitely a. They take some direct shots sometimes. Yeah, like, especially back in the day, they, they were more. To, yeah. They're more. Well, they don't have to anymore. Yeah, but they're a little more aggressive mm. about their back, direct back shots. Then, back then, I feel then like then. it was like every magazine they had something like, mm -hmm. huh. like like that Brian Aragon one. They would have yeah, like, yeah Brian Aragon going around too. Was, That's what I'm saying. A I version of that, but with different at a skate park, it wouldn't be anybody we knew, but they would have that. But you know. Like, for example, if you had that Aragon one in and it was like they did that to you, like dissected, dissected you like that, would yeah. you still be stoked or would you not? Uh, it depends on what it looked like. Mm. If I was like, damn, was I'm a good sick on there. If you're yeah. like, yeah, I don't care what they think. I'm styling on it. Yeah, <laughs> the six skating exactly. photo got published that whatever half a million other people got to see. Like, yeah. That's good, I guess. Yeah. Right? They're threatened. So, you know, that's. Oh, the cameo. The this is like, cameo. yeah, I got this was awesome. Oh, this is such a good. This like one was this was, we switched such cameras. a good idea. Yeah, yeah. It was so this was sick. TJ's idea. I said, like, "Hey, what if, what if we like, you know, switch cameras in the middle of the run?" I was like, "Hell yeah, dude! Just don't look me, make me look bad, right?" <laughs> <laughs> have you been? Have you talked to him lately? We asked um, John yeah, the other um, week, last week. Uh, I seen him like at a uh, Michael Pollock's wedding. I'll see him. Um, his wife is awesome, mm -hmm. and um, we get along with him. Her uh, my viola does really well. Like more so cool. social media. Yeah. But he, he works for TMZ. He edits oh, for does TMZ. He? Oh, yeah. Shit. No and, skating? And no, he hasn't he hasn't skated. Why not? Just uh, of you'd have to ask him. Uh, yeah. I think he's Damn, you came well, and He'll probably out. tell you his body's hurt and whatnot, but what? I know I'm not as bummed as you are. Like he's <laughs> I agree, man, from your the pod, previous podcast podcast, he's uh, he was ahead of yeah. his time. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I was here with um, Tom Heiser. He says something. He says, okay, when I land there. That was so sick. <laughs> and this is Tom Heiser. Tom Heiser actually filmed this. Did he? Yeah. Do I remember that? Like those fish brains to souls that you were doing in these videos, like the quick fish to souls. Like when I, saw, I was like, I got to learn that. I got to figure that out. Mm, but yeah. they were so confusing. So quick too. Yeah. It was, that was total signature JJ move. Yeah. I, I always picture you too, like in that setup, that like uh, that 
throne, like the black and gray throne, mm. like yellow frame, 50 50 frame. That yeah. was crazy. That was so sick. <laughs> that's how so three out. That was in, uh, this is in Canada. I believe <sighs> that's in uh, Vancouver. Pretty sure. You really went all over the world. I was about to, to say. This one. Uh, it was just a lot of it was like you got USD trips, in there too, right? USD trips, yeah. and co- com- combination of like England trips. Well, it's been two years, so this is Kato. at that time especially. This is a funny one because Kato was actually mad that he was in the video. <laughs> why? I don't remember exactly why. Damn young ass Kato. Yeah. Hmm. Did it, it was like. Did he not like jazz or something like that? No, no. It was, it was about me. It was hmm. definitely about me. Oh, I know. Like what? What? One of the things was it might have been just this. It was like the graffiti part in this, like in America, like. Um, when you do graffiti, you can paint over, you know, mm-hmm. if it's a legal wall mm-hmm. and you paint over and then you can do your piece or right. like it over periods of time. I'm not mm-hmm. sure how it actually works because I don't do art like mm-hmm. graffiti, but like he took offense to that because he's a true, he's a true, you know, graffiti mm-hmm. head from, you yeah, know, you can't, from where he's from. You can't and, buff somebody's stuff. Yeah. yeah and yeah. obviously that's common knowledge, that's, yeah. but in that specific wall that my buddy Dave, shout out Dave Fam, infamous, uh, he, uh, he got a, a really upset. He's like, what the hell is he doing this video? And like, like he's painting over his art and he's painting on top of it. That's mm-hmm. so disrespectful. And and I tried to explain to him it was a free wall. I don't know. There's a little bit of miscommunication there. But it wasn't, you know, we blab blew over, of course. But I think he was a little bummed that he was in the video from that, maybe. I don't know. It was a while ago. Stupid shit. So, so yeah. USD was taking a lot of trips back then, huh? Yeah. I, definitely. That was San Jose. This is L.A., obviously. Hey, is this for ESG right here? ESG. <laughs> I just got. Yeah. No, he's watching. Are you watching? <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Shout out ESG. Shout out ESG. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I'm waiting for him yeah. to respond. <laughs> Nothing yet. Oh, wow. So this Damn, ledge is ledge. like a relic. Yeah. TJ. TJ jumped over the wall. Oh, yeah. Switch top. Switch top that so ledge is even there anymore. Ooh, I bet it's, it's like gone. Swiss cheese. Uh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah. Damn, well, what? Must have been pretty cool back in the day with all like those old guys, like well, not saying old guys, but you know TJ and B Smith, Brian Smith, and all those guys skating. Yeah, because like you know I've met those guys, but not seen them really in their day skating. Must have been fun. Yeah, definitely Every, a different definitely, time. Uh, yes, yeah, long time ago. Well, that's Crazy. your England part. Yeah, thanks for thanks watching. For, us. Did, did thanks for good watching that again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. When was the last time we seen that? It's cool. It didn't seem so long because we're talking the whole time. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you're like sitting in a room by yourself watching it, you're like, oh, damn. It's anxious. It's an, it's an anxiety-ridden <laughs> I moment. I wouldn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you don't watch your sections all the time? Definitely not. <laughs> I, I don't really until I get like real depressed and I'm just yeah. like, fuck it, I'll watch one. It's good. No, I'm just kidding. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't do that. All right. So now we're moving on to the juicy part juicy of part. the interview. Okay. <laughs> we want to know what's going on and what's new with them skates. Oh, we okay. obviously know a little <laughs> bit, but yeah, what do so you think we're, you think we're talking about? Come on. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> this is a big deal. Uh, yeah, so we, updates on them. We, skates. we obviously have we always have an update today. Yeah. I guess you want to start with that. Unless yeah. there's something else you want to talk about. No, no, it's well. exactly like uh, there's, so much, ha- there's so many layers. Is the skate anywhere? Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, it's a big deal. It's first and foremost, it's like being me being obviously so you know engulfed in this company to to have a dream to to be able to do this and create a product for someone who i really admire and have him uh, have an opportunity to make money on a product that is you know 100 percent funded by skating you know yeah. like this is this is different mm-hmm. you know what i mean this is 100 percent different than anything i've ever been involved in and it's called passion call it whatever but it's like it's a dream come true from a new dream come true for me because I never could imagine being able to do it because I still can't imagine me mm-hmm. able to do it. It's right. Like, right. Un- unbelievable to be- go to factory in China and do it and like say, I want this and that. Is it okay? Or how much do I have to pay you? Or, mm-hmm. you know, is, what's our terms? Or can I change this? Or do you trust me enough to like keep doing business with me? Like all these things. There's mm-hmm. so many layers in this whole freaking thing that now I feel like, wow, I have a relationship with this fact with a couple of fa- factories down out there. And it feels like they trust me. I trust them. And, and it's only been our first run, but, mm-hmm. um, there, I think I'm shocked on how fast we wrote to turn this around because of that relationship. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And, um, in a grand scheme of things, it's not a lot of money to like these factories, 
Um, but to me, it is. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, this is like livelihood, basically. You know, like, yeah. this doesn't work. Mm-hmm. Like, fuck. Yeah. It's everything's <laughs> on the line. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> you know, and, and, and it, it is so extreme in so many levels because, like, okay, uh, first and foremost, thank, thank you, everyone who fucking supported this company. Yeah. 100%. Real. Yes. Put it up. It's like, the crew. 100%. Uh, there's a lot of support <sighs> yeah, heavy lot of support. Yeah. heavy I've expressed my heaviness I think yeah. in the past so Blading loves you man <sighs> I love yeah, Blading for real. Did, you, did you expect anything less <laughs> I mean you know you just you never, never know, know. Yeah, yeah, like, I think in the Kelso podcast you know relevance and you know yeah. it's, a, it's, a hard, it's a heavy word you, know, mm-hmm. you have mm-hmm. to stay relevant in, in any industry and totally. I'm just fortunate through whatever path I took to get to this point to be able to do this and stay, still be relevant in Blading uh, fuck man mm-hmm we would ever thought and uh anyway going going to the skate so like one of the things i mean me and aj talked a while back about it um why is like the royalty so low well you didn't even say what it is yet this is the sean darst 908 okay. pro model there it's we a, go. you heard it it's here. a burgundy plum it's looking more like plum but we're calling it burgundy um similar features um but we did do um two big upgrades um what we found, which was similar to the Volo skates, like uh, our hardware would sometimes strip. So um, can you, uh, there's another skate in that bag. Uh, what we did was we upgraded the hardware, we changed it. We like changed in, the metal. We like changed the, uh, the mounting, in the, the, we call it the gasket. Mm-hmm. The and the plates? gasket would spin inside sometimes. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? When you're trying mm-hmm. to change yeah. your sole plates. Mm-hmm. So like we, we upgraded it, we changed it, we turned it into, we made these bridges. So there's a bridge that connect two holes. Mm-hmm. So instead of like, fuck man, it's spinning. I can't do yeah. it. I got to drill it out yeah, or something. It's the worst. All you got to do is put a little. Actually, you don't even have to put a little pressure in the bridge because it's. We also um, embedded it into the boot, mm-hmm. so it's just like quick, oh, okay. boom, boom, boom. So, I mean, you probably can't see it here. We're gonna. I have pictures. It's like we'll, ridges, right? Are yeah. This is yeah. like. Oh, okay. You see what I'm saying? Like was we'll it? have a better version online soon for, for everyone sure. to see. But it's a bridge, oh, yeah. connecting two holes. All you got to do is put a pressure pressure point in the middle of the two bridge, and it's easy. You know, spinning. And to me, it was a, such a huge headache, right? Just makes at the get go. Well, yeah, I mean, it's more f- it's so customization, function. you know? Like, people like to make certain white soles, black soles, whatever soles, and yeah. you can't do it so easy in a lot of skates, mm-hmm. you know? Not just these or the previous ones of these. And the Vala ones were also like, you have to get pliers in there and you got to, yeah, like, fuck, it's always spinning, the most dude. It's shit. like the worst shit mm-hmm. ever. So, fucking thank God we are able to find this hardware. Um, and they turned it around really quick for us too. This is like incredible. How are the fast. others different too? The same. Okay. Those are same. Um, what we also did, the second biggest upgrade is um, the sole plate. Uh, we made them thicker. So it's going to be longer lasting. Um, there's a bit of space inside. Um, we'll, we'll have to break them down at some point uh, so yes. people can see it. But yeah. we filled it in. There's no more. There's, there's, we just have, it'll have longer lasting life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, I'm going to compare it to my skate right now. We found some, like, uh, you know, some people who like to do set slides a lot, you know. Like, yeah. Like Stockwell. Oh, totally. And it burns through yeah. pretty quick when you do set slides. So, mm-hmm. and uh, they'll have longer lasting life. Just give more longevity. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And on top of this, we are also selling replaceable sole plates. I was about to ask that question because now that you got three colors, yeah, that's going to be like so fun for people to do like do like the plum and white mm. or like the plum and black, right? Uh, right now we're only doing black and white. Okay, aftermarket. black and white. But if you buy these, you have this. No, yeah, exactly. Can, yeah, exactly. Oh, so well, you well, could, if they have the skate, they have two other color yeah, options other yeah, than the plum. Exactly. So aftermarket, you'll be able to buy black and you'll buy white. That's fun. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, before that's the good news. So the bad news is like through my, which is not that much, that bad. It's just uh, we had like a. Through my trial and error, like I learned, you know, my price pricings, you know, uh, whether it be through freight, um, you know, I can't predict what that's going to be. You know, I couldn't mm-hmm. like I'm paying for, you know, the, the boat coming, picking it up and dropping it off in Long Beach. And then I and then the driver to pick it up from Long Beach to my to my warehouse. You mm-hmm. know, what I mean, I can't predict how much that cost. I mean, I could have from what people are telling me. It differs per But ship. it's your first time. Doing but it's my first time doing right, it. Okay. So. Um, that's an increased price to the skate mm-hmm. and then Chinese manufacturing it fluctuate inflation you know there's a few things on the under that I had to adjust the pricing it's right. not going to be a $200 skate oh it's not going to be a $250 $300 skate but it's going to be $180 now mm-hmm. this one not specifically I'll get to that one but we uh, 
we're releasing we were re-releasing the black model um in two colorways and this is the price point now this is 180 so the only change besides the two up big upgrades to these skates are cosmetically um we're gonna have the white buckle obviously in the white eyelids i like the white buckle looks good yeah like it's just white, it's, like it's yeah we're also gonna have it with black soul plate so you can you can choose mm -hmm. one or the other and the the great thing about it is like um these sold really fast so we're just basically refilling it mm -hmm. so that the, the the ability to have a basic black it would be there and yeah so this will be now 180 mm -hmm. um and then going to this gate the biggest accomplishment oh well, biggest accomplishment i'm done yet but what we're trying to do is give Darcy a healthy royalty mm -hmm. on these skates so he's gonna make in between 10 to 15 dollars minimum Per, per skate so that's huge yeah. and for people who don't know like what was yeah. the royalty like it's like, i mean it's like two dollars fifty well, you know, yeah. usually yeah, yeah. yeah. and for us for vala we did 350 toward my end of my days there mm -hmm. i've kind of you know so even put some pressure forward. yeah took mm -hmm. some time but mm -hmm. but this skate will be 200 um, um retail mm -hmm. so but that that 10 to 15 it's going straight straight, so straight so to people Darst. are really supporting their yeah. skaters this is 100 percent going and 10 that's 15. huge too i know i mean i never had a pro skate but you guys have pro skates and I've been to many conversations where everybody's always complaining. Yeah. Like same thing, same thing you said before, like why can't it just be $10 royalty instead of, you know, $2 mm -hmm. and just raise the price a oh, little totally. bit. Everybody going to want to support their favorite I, pros anyway. It's like, it's also an experiment, you yeah. know, like it's probably like, tough to do logistically because I, I think a lot of yeah. people came with that intention. Like Shima, I know he did yeah. and, and yeah. Elliot did too, but I think uh, they were finding it was hard to fulfill, but I'm yeah. sure you put that. You yeah, I mean, that again, again, we're we're it's a definitely a test of yes. like what what we can possibly do. But if it, if it works out great, which so far it is, mm -hmm. like I've been pre-selling the shops, and mm -hmm. thanks to the support to all the shops who pre-ordered already. Thank you guys. Shout out shops. Shout out all <laughs> shops. <laughs> Too many name right now, but thank you all. A lot of people saying they're gonna buy them. The thank chat. you. The support, I mean, shit, man, it's the incredible, yeah, right? They look good. I feel like this is my fucking pro skate when I look at it, I'm like, <laughs> dude. Like, this is like incredible. Con like, it's a fucking yeah, that's huge. They give me like a nostalgic feel too. They kind of remind me like the old chocolate. Like, yeah, it's got that yeah, cool it has color, definitely a like chocolate. You know? feel I like, to it. I like yeah. that feeling. And I'm stoked for Dars, man. Like, he deserves it 100. Totally. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do just with the idea of the royalty, but he fucking deserves it. Sure You know, he's been skating since day. I mean, supporting. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's uh, that's basically it as far as like um, the reasons why they increased and the changes. Keep in mind, like this is there's a lot that I want to do. Like we all want to do mm -hmm. um, on the team. Like we want to improve like the liner. We want to improve um, um, whatever. I mean, obviously we did the hardware, but we mm -hmm. wanted to offer more colors. Mm -hmm. You know, we have lots of stuff that we do have planned, but mm -hmm. you know. I actually testing. like the liners in these skates. I do too. Like, yeah, like there's like a neoprene toe. I mean, when I say that, we also going to test it. I think mm -hmm. that's the biggest thing is like testing and making sure before you put something on the market, it's like not over, you know, overstepping the boundary of like, hey, this may not work. You right. Know? It's like yeah. it's like you have to actually ride it and mm -hmm. make sure you're good with of it. Of course, you yeah. Know? And that's also hard because we, this is actually we turn this around so fast, you know. Yeah, you guys. It seems like the first set of 908s just like shipped. Like, yeah, a few and people weeks ago people and are just getting them now. Like um, in Indonesia, uh, sorry, Malaysia. Mm -hmm. um, Dosh from uh, shout out Dosh at uh, Dosh Skates. In that's Malaysia. how you say it. Dosh. Doshi. Dosh. Dosh. Okay. Dosh. <laughs> Whatever. I was say it, <laughs> but uh, he just got his skates yesterday or today. So, mm -hmm. and in Mexico. Excuse me, Mexico, um, Beyond Pro, Beyond Skate Shop, shout out Diego. He just got his um, last week. So a lot of these, a lot of these uh, in Russia. I think we just got our skates in Roller Club, mm -hmm. and they were shipped a while ago. A lot of these, a lot of the um, shops, they bulk their shipments into a certain um, broker or destination, mm -hmm. whether it be in America or whoever, wherever they get their bulk orders. Whether and it's not just them skates, maybe it's something else. Mm -hmm. They put it all in one place and then. They have to wait till it all gets to one place, and then they can ship it to their gotcha where mm -hmm. they're at. So it takes like a month sometimes, you know, mm -hmm. before they can because it hands off to numerous people. Exactly. So anyway, I mean, it's understandable the way it's mm -hmm. like that, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm trying to figure. I get bummed out. I'm like, you don't have your skates yet. Like, what the hell? Like, well, I'm sure customs in like certain countries get like way tougher than other places. Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. coming from come having to come from because it uh, goes from there to, to you. Yeah. To back out. And that's a new thing is I'm gonna be able to ship straight from China oh. to like local skates. 
they're gonna get theirs that's like right, oh, so right much. House. yeah that saves and like that saves like, like two weeks <laughs> so it's, yeah that's all in the process of happening right now so oh that's huge yeah i was just gonna ask you that if you like if everything just comes to you i'm guessing now it does anyway like everything comes to you and then you ship it to russia malaysia yeah that's what we did um i did one test which went to russia that was a tester because um they did straight they, from china you mean? yeah okay I, I mean the idea was always there but i had never done it before mm-hmm. <coughs> i had never like organized like i mean I, they're new new we're new relationships so i was like yeah I wasn't gonna like here's 30 shops can you ship them all they're here? like a skating <coughs> company like what is that they're manufacturing General man, manufacturing, man, like skates, the scooters, and um, they they manufacture a lot of rollerblades that are out there. Okay, so and so they're still and, in like the business. Yeah, they're in the much. business. It's not yeah. like some random. No, that's thing. the reason why they yeah it looks as good as it is, or yeah. and it turns around as fast mm-hmm. as it does, and um yeah, so that's I'll awesome. Keep talking. Sorry. If What's I'm, no yeah. no they, yeah. like. That's People right. are asking now, like what? Because Sean Dars got a just got a pro skate. Like, yeah. What's the team looking like now? I guess elaborate more on like who's involved or anything yeah, like that yeah i mean like right now obviously alex you released a photo you released the photo yeah the, that's the current the current team i guess you want all the team but uh i mean which are uh alex Broskow, sean Darris, robbie pitts uh shoot cruz sapstein mm-hmm. i think that's all on that picture but i mean obviously family wise like miguel mm-hmm. uh brandon um yeah i mean it's but you know there's a there's like a homie team homie. and like a pro team. I wouldn't even call it team, which is family. But family. I mean, as far as team goes, yeah, we're, we're promoting, obviously, um, the people in, the adver- in our ad. Yeah. Qu- quick question, because I was curious. Um, when they when you guys put out the, like the eye ad with Alex, like it showed his eye, them goods, it was like a kind of alluding to him being on the team. Yeah. Um, was that like kind of the plan from the beginning and you guys were keeping it under wraps? No, or did it, it come it about later? It kind of came about on? later okay. because... I mean, sub- subconsciously, obviously, I was like, yeah, Alex got to, you know. I yeah, yeah. you guys were together I, for so long. Yeah, yeah, but I can't make that decision for him. Course, he yeah. has to make that decision. Right. And that opportunity didn't really formulate until, like, um, the Volo stuff was clarified. Like, like he, you know, he had to get a certain amount of money that he was owed through his royalties. Mm. And um, I wanted to make sure that happened. You know, you can't really, like add someone somewhere else and be like you sorry know, yeah he didn't clean yeah, fucking before. money yeah dude exactly. like right. you know what i mean so mm-hmm. subconsciously yeah but also i want to make sure he got his fucking money you know right. mm-hmm. so and he did and and then he came to you and was like hey john i want to i mean we always i mean we're all homies of course it's like yeah it's not like one moment it it's just yeah, like we're always we're always hanging out and we always talk it's nice. like he's uh he's all you know we're all in pretty much involved in all aspects of everything, mm-hmm. which can be tough sometimes because there's a lot of cooks in the yeah. kitchen sometimes, but mm-hmm. it's also healthy, I think, because I don't have all the answers, you mm-hmm. know? I, there's no way with all the stuff that I do. What happened to, like, everyone else who was on Volo? Like, it's, you know... Was it just straight mutual, like, just whatever it's, happened? Um, so when you, when you first, like, announced, like, the whole a, them skates thing, you, yeah. you, it was kind of just like, I'm doing me and, like... It seemed like whoever, anybody who like wants to like be a part of it, they can. But you're not yeah. like forcing anything. Like yeah, I you don't know what you were doing. I, I couldn't at all. even know. I didn't know if it was gonna be successful. Like uh, the, the original organic, it's all organic, right? Like, mm-hmm. like I couldn't, like, like for Vic, for Victor or for David, mm-hmm. or for Alex. Like they had pro skates, they yeah. over owed money. Yeah. Like it would. The last thing I'd like to do, or any, and even if I was still knowing I was gonna do them or try to do them, is like throw up a conflict of interest right away and some make something uncomfortable mm-hmm. you know what i mean like i wanted to make sure they all got their money and it had to be black and white you know from my point of view this is all point, my point of view right and and i know they agree with that they want to get paid of too course. from what they were mm-hmm. owed so but on the under i knew i had to make moves to try to see if i can do this mm-hmm. so i had to find people that i respected and they're my friends that i knew i can work with on the under obviously mm-hmm. and that under when i say that is not that long of a period of time it's like uh we got sk- samples at a certain time and then mm-hmm. that was like okay you know so let's start testing this and that right. was stars and those crews and mm-hmm. that was it mm-hmm. and me so like and then organically you know robbie you know obviously he was organically involved so it's like obviously it makes sense right you know? so um yeah so that's kind of like how it's going it's not like some grand scheme of things that by any means but yeah. now that things are kind of moving and i feel like yeah we're you know I, I i last week dude i had no fucking money in the bank you know like mm-hmm. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it last week. Right. So it's like, mm-hmm. it's day to day. It's, so, it's yeah. pretty, you know, we're still, in my opinion, we're still launching. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's still, n- still really new. It's so new still. And mm-hmm. there's still so much to learn. And I, and my job this time around, what I'm telling myself is make as least amount of mistakes as possible. Cause if, if you can do that, then you save in money mm-hmm. and that, that in turn will benefit later. And I did, I made a lot of mistakes, you know, mm-hmm. and, they weren't detrimental, mm-hmm. you know, on the under with logistics stuff, mm-hmm. but you know, I, there's no way I can have the answer for everything. Right. Well, you're just doing it for the first time. You have yeah. to make mistakes to learn, right? Exactly. So anyway, going back to that team thing, it's mm. like, I'm just growing with what I can do and I can't give mm. anybody promises that I can't even do for myself. Exactly. You know I mean? mm-hmm. So if it's like, are you on a team? Do I have a spot? I like, dude, I don't even no, know. Nobody like asked you like, um, was that there no was one? no uncomfortable conversations. No. Uh, uh-huh. Um, everyone just kind of knew what was going on mutually. I mean, Brandon bought skates, Yvonne bought skates, Jeff bought yeah, skates. Yeah, I think People everyone just wants to see You bought skates, yeah. dude. Thank you. Yeah. You know, like, it's not, it's like. How can we not? It's fucking. How can the, we not? The, the, there's a bigger picture than, you know, there's a yeah. bigger picture than just being on a team. Yeah. The bigger yeah. picture is making sure this is successful and the knowing that I need to support this. And, and otherwise, what else is going to be out there for skating? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I, we did this so fast because I know it's important. I know it's it needs to. We need a program. Mm-hmm. There needs to be a program that benefits people and to be stoked on skating. Mm-hmm. And it shit, is happening dude. really quick, yeah. though. Everything yeah, and I'm kind of really nervous, fast. dude. Like I'm nervous mm-hmm. that, you know, I was Why, like last smooth? week. No, I was nervous <laughs> because <laughs> I didn't know. I mean, the price increase, you know, and this is a big test for the brand because okay, mm-hmm. we sold certain amount of skates and we sold out whatever, and we sold amount of skates to keep going. But mm-hmm. now it's like, do the people like the product? You know what I mean? Right. I want to ride that. Mm-hmm. You know, like. I actually like it. Well, you have direct now. You have direct like feedback from the community. Yeah. Shit, shit that you could do like yeah. right then and there. Yeah, but you also, it's so like okay. Like, I had to pull the trigger on a certain amount of skates in this one, mm-hmm. so it was mm-hmm. kind of like, yo, like, do I just kind of be safe, you know, and do a thousand, or right. do I go fucking gung ho yeah. and do what I just did last run? How many are you doing at this show? I'm going fucking gung ho. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, gung ho. Fuck it, That's right? That's the way. No, yeah. Like I don't know what the ceiling is. We sold out yeah. of our black skates and our white skates of small sizes. Yeah, so fast. Like I mean, I won't call it so fast. It sounds like like we're doing like no, big I mean, numbers, but it is pretty right. quick. It but will. it's like I don't know what our ceiling is. Straight up, like I'll be honest, I don't care. Like fucking roll dude. Like yeah, I wasn't. I don't know what our ceiling is. Mm-hmm. Like what if it's four thousand? Right. What if it's five thousand? Got to test the limits. Fucking. Mm-hmm. And, and then. Like the way the fucking cash flow is rolling, it's like mm-hmm. it's very like, you know what I mean. I got to make sure I can pay pull, my you bills, pull the trigger. Yeah. and I got to make sure uh, we can make another production run, right? Mm-hmm. So and there's a fucking a million other things on the under, so I know if I'm gonna be able to do that and do more molds and do something new so that, that keeps the brand exciting, then I gotta go gung ho. I gotta fucking increase the process, you know. Well, I pro- think. Production. I think you're gonna have everyone's support on this one. Uh, of course, yeah. I, now it's like it's like the first step was like everyone supports you. Now the second step is like everybody supports everybody else now. Yeah, yeah. because you're yeah. supporting Shop. all the riders now. Yeah. way more than you could have possibly before. And I, I and it's, it's just like you would you would do this totally. You know oh, what I mean? But this, 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 it's, it's, I mean, I would. Everybody, I, I would we want, all know. These I would want to that, do it for yeah. this skater, but like yeah. to actually do it is so much. Like everyone, well, could, no one's had the everyone could have the that. intention to do it, but to actually do it is just no one's had the control massive. to do that, right? Like, but, I mean, you but, but we would all agree that we, this is a fucking good thing, of course, oh, totally. yeah. right? Yeah, that's the most important hundred percent. And mm-hmm. and for this to not happen, how many years yeah. ago? Like 10, 15, 20 years ago. <sighs> like your post, I mean, no, We're, I mean, I want to, bu- I'm not trying to bust anybody's balls. No, as I, I would have made, I would have made a few bucks extra. Yeah, you can make. I don't know. I mean, again, this is new, and to figure it out, you know, like. Dude, what if it could be more? Fuck, dude. Like, yeah. It's crazy. One, you get one run of skates, you can make 20 grand maybe. Dude. Yeah. Like, fucking, why That's not? That's huge. Like, I don't yeah. know. That sounds like... Were, were royalties higher in like the earlier days? Of pro skates? No. Skates sold. It was always the same, even when blading I was mean, like huge, blowing up. It's just larger numbers, I guess. I never had a pro... Well, shit, that's not what true. What was your first pro skate? You had a skate I in can't the 90s. Remember. I had a skate with USD, but I don't remember like making. Because the numbers were larger than. I mean, yeah, I would make some decent money, but but it the, was the always like the same 250. Had, yeah, had we, we, we had more, sold more more volume. So yeah, that's yeah, it was. yeah. Okay. yeah but you. It, you know, it wasn't like incre- like crazy much more. I believe I can't. Right, yeah. I mean, you probably it was it, USD was always idea. 250 as as far as I know. But I think some other places well, you get you get more stuff if you have like your pro frame and wheel and stuff on it. Right, like Murder got like five. 
Persky. I, I remember, he had a I remember when his came out. Frame and wheel. Oh, he had the other stuff like, on there. I remember he had when like his the came murder. Out. Right. It was like one of the stuff. highest. And right, like royalty. royalty. Oh, by the way, I got a shot at Create Originals because we're doing a run uh, complete. Um, oh, really? Darst with Woo! Create Originals frames, Damn. too. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. I'm sorry, <laughs> Brian. <laughs> but, uh, we don't have that here right now because of my organization. But well, What kind of frame? What is it? It's is it like? black. Um, black. Darst didn't want um, any... Uh, CRS? What, what do you call it? No, not CRS. Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, graphic? Gra- the graphic frames. <laughs> but he didn't want a graphic on it. He didn't mm-hmm. want the plastic on it, so it's just going to be straight naked. Straight like shell. Okay. I mean, straight like um, yeah, skeleton just, or whatever. Yeah, because that's how he rides it. Yeah. Sick. And then we have like them wheels. But that's good because most people... I think a lot of people ride those frames anyway. Oh, dang. So a complete skate so, with yeah. great original frames? It's a limited or? run, but, um, uh, well. I'm we'll surprised see. you're doing that because you have the youth frames. Yeah, but um, I mean, I, I talked to Brian. We had a great conversation about mm-hmm. working together, and, and it's, it's Darcy's pro, you know, mm-hmm. this is what he rides. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. And I think showing that we want to work together and showing unification. Well, you want everybody to yeah. grow. Yeah. Everyone to grow, right? Yeah. We got to be a team to yeah. make this work. And it's like, yeah, it's like a it's a learning experience too. Like we got to figure out how we can do this. And I cool. again never been able to you know, in this situation. Mm-hmm. So that's I'm that's stoked really on, on on that for sure. Besides besides all these royalties and everything that you're doing, which is amazing, is there anything else in particular that you're doing different to run them over how you were running Volo? Uh, just I mean different. Like stuff, it's all stuff, different stuff, because stuff, I mean it's all different, but stuff that. Anything that you particularly learn from, like Volo, oh, that oh, you could like, like you a could, royalty, like you're saying, yeah, um, something like, and just anything, like anything that I mean, any lessons learned from like Volo that you could directly be like, okay, now I know like this, and I'm well, or when you were doing Volo, maybe like, oh, when I have my own skate company one day, I'm gonna change this, this, and that, and now you could actually do it. I think I'm gonna find figure those things out naturally. Just but those those stand that stands out the most. Right yeah, now. definitely the royalty. It's just it's a it's also a learning process, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I hope it, it works and and. And so far, it's looking good mm-hmm. with the pre-orders, and um, it's just it's just, we'll see how this goes. And mm-hmm. if it if it works like 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 amazing, which it is so far, mm-hmm. then what's what's the head? I mean, shoot, well, I'd be fucking stoked to to do more. Yeah, two D dump. Know? As long as yeah, two D dump. Straight two D. As long as as long as like the brand the brand is gonna be able to shout out Miguel, shout out Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> the brand's gonna be able to, you know hold its own mm-hmm. within within the margins that I, I've been working on mm-hmm. and which it's it, it should be at this point right um, but you know learning curve yeah just you know take it as it comes takes it as it comes and then uh, hopefully things just keep continue to grow awesome yeah is there well, I think uh, now's a good time to open it up for questions yeah we're gonna open up for questions while we open up for questions we're going to talk about the giveaway that we're doing Okay. Right? Yes. It's another big exciting thing also. So John has been gracious enough to bless us with I mean, I just came to you with an idea and then you made it so much better or whatever. Um we're gonna give away a pair of them skates. <whistles> Dang wow. wow. Oh no, he did it. We're giving <laughs> Oh no he did it. Wow, we're giving away so a pair of So we're giving away a skates. pair of them skates. Crazy. How many people do we got watching right we now? We have 150 people. 150? 157 people watching. Oh my god! So, so the, you guys are the those 157 enough. people. You're lucky for tuning in. If you didn't tune in, you blew it. So you have, don't have a shot to get them skates. <laughs> <laughs> not the pro mod, not the Sean Darst. Though. Yeah, the other the, 908s. The ivory. Um, ivory. 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 Yeah. Ivory. Ivory, ivory 908 boot only. Mm-hmm. John's giving away. Um, here are the contest rules. I guess we're gonna do. It's gonna be an Instagram contest. So. You better get, if you ain't on Instagram now, you better get on. Get on um, Instagram. <laughs> to qualify for this contest, you have to follow them skates on Instagram, follow Jump Street Podcast on Instagram. And since the weekend is kicking off right now, I'm sure everyone's skating this weekend, um, post your favorite clip from the weekend and just tag Jump Street Podcast in the clip. And, and them skates. Come and them skates. Them skates and Jump Street Podcast. Tag both in, in your post. Mm-hmm. Follow both of us. And then on Monday or Tuesday, we'll pick a winner of our favorite clip. Favorite clip? Or should we just random? Your I call. think we should pick our favorite, our favorite clip. Favorite clip? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Favorite clip then. Yeah. It's not necessarily going to be the best trick, but the yeah, our favorite it's clip. It's our favorite clip. Okay. That's cool. it. You don't gotta go. You know, don't go breaking your neck. There we go. So you guys have <laughs> it's, Friday, it's Friday night now, so you guys better get cracking. You got two days, two and a half days. Weekend. It's good. Well, yeah, it's good. It's gonna be a crazy weekend. Hopefully the weather's good where you are. 
All right, well, John, sorry for rinsing you so much, but we're going to let the, the some people ask some questions, okay. too. Ready. Open up the floor to uh, some of the people in the community. Yes, we had a couple. Hang on here. Uh, somebody asked if the sole plates were thicker or thinner on the in, or thicker on the inside or just the outside. I don't know what that the really means. The new ones are just on the outside. It's just like expanded on the outside? It's like of? if you look inside, it's it's just like, like there's like a netting. Yeah. And yeah. we filled the netting with more plastic, so oh, okay. it's longer lasting. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, when are the sole plates going to start shipping? October, same time the skates are shipping. Okay, cool. And Ooh, those October. are available worldwide mm-hmm. also? We're also okay. going to have um, liners replaceable, buckles replaceable. Like all separate parts, you mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. And, uh, so pretty much everything. Something. What about cuffs? Cuffs, sorry. Ooh. And that's all October? Yeah. All October. Yeah. Minimum, minimums, though, like very, very low quantities. Just testing it out, kind of? Yeah, just. Any chance on a bigger size? We have a giant here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the. I think, is that the first time you got that question? No, maybe the second time. Size, maybe really? the same guy. Si- size What's thirteen. The same and, and <laughs> Andrew Williams. I don't. Uh, <laughs> got a lot of big people out there. Definitely pursuing a smaller scale. Yeah. Right what, what's the What's the bigger size? Oh, you want a smaller one oh, for, yeah, smaller for yeah? That's for kids I see and, that and smaller feet. What about so the smaller? Is there like a timeline for those? It's ASAP. Oh, that's mm-hmm. a good timeline. <laughs> ASAP. Well, mm-hmm. as soon as we get through these, hopefully it's ASAP. Mm-hmm. Uh, where can I order the skates? Where people want to? Uh, where are you from? Where are you from, Mike S? If um, uh, okay, in America we can start. Grind or oh, it's not Grindhouse is Germany, but Grindhouse is doing it. I will be available at Grindhouse. Loco skates in the UK, Heaton skate in Poland, uh, Soul Vision in Japan, uh, Dushy skates in Malaysia. Okay, in America we got Roller Warehouse, uh, Thorough. Shout out Thorough. Shout out. Um, Shop Task. Oak City. Hey, shout, shout out Long. Oh, yeah. There you go, Oak City. Uh, I, can't, I don't want to forget anybody. I'm definitely forgetting people right now. Uh, Intuition uh, Skate Intuition. Shop. Oh, yeah. Can't forget Mick. Shop Task. Mick. Um, Shop Task. <sighs> Shop Task. Yeah, I've said it already. Shop Task. Seattle. Shop Task. Canada. Oh, he's in the U.S., so. Yeah. Um, so there you go. You have like a bunch of choices covered. in yeah. the yeah. U.S. Yeah, sorry. I could keep going, but. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm sure you could find one of those. Yeah. People are asking for a, a Pitts Pro Skate. There you go. Then what color would that skate what be? What color, yeah. What color would that be? That would be a funky skate. I think that's probably people want it. I'm <laughs> thinking like the Arlo Valo kind of vibe. <laughs> Remember that one? <laughs> yeah. I love that one. That was totally cool. Blue long sleeve, bl- uh, blue long sleeve shirts back in stock? Uh, holiday. Mark? We'll have them back in holiday. We've been putting all the money into the skate production. So. Yeah, are you sold out of all the soft goods? We have some stuff. Okay. The long sleeves we don't have mm. the blue ones that right now. The long sleeves sold up before t-shirts. Um, our, our, whenever I do a run of clothes, it's like small runs mm-hmm. because it's like can't really predict. I don't know and a lot of shops do. haven't really don't really buy it. Mm-hmm. Like we sell the most clothing maybe on our site on themguys.com. dot com, mm-hmm. and then like Roller Warehouse does pretty good with us for clothing. Um, unless it's like a really like like limited out. Um, I um, the Broscale shirt sold really well. So like, mm-hmm. um, yeah, it's like, it's not like a, <laughs> yeah, hit or miss. Big, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's not, the, yeah, it's not the yeah. main like thing, yeah. your, your hardware and hard exactly. goods. Yeah. yeah. But we're going to do long sleeves again. Okay. In blue. That was a cool looking shirt. Which I one? like that one. The Brasca one? The long sleeve. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I have one. Mike McMullen. Shout out Arm Studio. Mike McMullen. Cheryl. Yep. I saw that on What Bladers Wear on Instagram. Oh yeah, there you go. The, at What Bladers Perfect. Wear. <laughs> James Perez actually gave me a long sleeve. Nice. Um, I should have been shouting out names. Um, I don't know how the hell to say this. LA Justica official. Are you ever going to have a yellow youth frame? I guess homage to your 50, 50 frame. I don't have plans for that. No. I'd like, I'd like to. Any plans for youth at all? Yeah. Okay. I mean, me and farm talk a bit about doing some more stuff, but, uh, it's just a matter of like time, you know, like mm-hmm. right now them is just the most important yeah, of thing, course, yeah. but we, we do have ideas. Mm-hmm. So. Right, right now, uh, we're, we got black and white and red. No, no, them frames. I just realized that as I know. you have wheels, no. bearings. Yeah, you got bearings. Yeah, bearings. Yeah, like everything except the frame. Well, youth is. Yeah. Do youth you plan on making like a them frame or something like that? You know, tossing ideas around, but I'd like to keep youth going. Maybe, okay. Maybe in a new frame, idea has been talked about, like me and Farm again. But nice. it's just you know money and what we're capable of doing right now. Mister Self Destruct wants to know about your setup. 
flat anti rocket freestyle what millimeter wheels and bearings well i guess <laughs> well we i guess it's been a trend on our show to talk about flat anti yeah. freestyle and stuff like that what do you, what do you anti like you man also ask good questions everyone everyone always asks that don't ask though. boring questions <laughs> All right. Everybody, uh, we're going to uh, take uh, a few more because we're not going to sweat them down anyway. My guess also wants to know about different wheel sizes for them. Yeah, uh, testing some stuff out. Okay. It's just. What size is out now? We do 58. 58, 58 right now. Damn. And we're looking at 60, looking at 55. Oh, so going, okay. Oh, 55. I yeah, could do that. So we're trying to. I'm a 55 guy. It's just. Wheels are hard. You know, manufacturing wheels are hard. Is it? Yeah. Trying the urethane and. Oh, testing it out? Yeah just the process on yeah. uh i haven't figured it out if anyone wants to help me out hit me up <laughs> <laughs> kevin dugard jump street them limited collapse gate Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a little young for that right to now. be continued <laughs> <It's a> little, <laughs> okay here's a good one fuck stop scrolling down 17 bks favorite imyt memory or some under the radar shit that you wish you had on tape from one of those IMYTAs. That's a good um, question. That's a good favorite year. IMYTA mm -hmm. moment was when Shima did the Royale. Uh, well, he in had Paris? a couple. The first, the Paris one, <sighs> when he won. I straight, the up, intro I straight to... up cried, dude. Then a cross and down. Really? I straight up cried. Why? What happened? I was just stoked. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Was, it was incredible, like uh, to be in the middle of that. Because when it, he was like he won, and I was in the middle of the crowd, and then I got trampled on. I remember looking at Joe and Joe. I think there's a f clip of Joe Navron like looking at the camera going like this. <laughs> if you look at the video, I watched it or whatever. But yeah. he's doing that face because he saw me crying. Oh shit! It's joy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like fuck, dude. That was incredible. No, yeah. it was such a real event. It was so. Real. I'm glad I put there that. There's thousand people there, all for for street skating. You know? I'm glad I put that in the intro to our show. Then. Did you? Yeah. Right. I try to like pick like epic yeah. parts of the skating history, whatever. Yeah. I, would, I, I needed say, I needed like an IMYTA one and that was like the yeah. one that I chose. I mean, shit, that wall rated in Montreal is another oh my one. God. That also was, that 540 at Bercy too. Yeah. Because I just remember he just went the flying. Into was the, it the 540 yeah. the one or was it the Royale? The Royale one. Well, the he, Royale did, one. he did both, but he, the, the, the 540 was just like into a sea of people and then yeah. they just closed yeah. around yeah. him. Yeah. Like, and everyone was like, yeah. was like slow motion cheering. It was like, wow. Look at, yeah, like he must have felt like, Mm. Right there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people maybe not know, but me and Dave like edited all those films. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Dave. that's right. I forgot Dave was a part of those. Yeah. 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 Shout out Dave Payne. Dave Payne. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like there you shirt. go. I meant to put a, a sticky with a four in it for your VG section. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. I was going to just be like, just write a Sharpie four on it. And I was like, nah. I'll we were going to do the VG four part instead of the England part, but we figured that was too typical. Yeah. So okay. we wanted to do something a little off the. Off yeah. The yeah. Old or about old. Yeah. So, <laughs> but let's get let's get a couple D more questions. Daniel Sudar says, "What are you doing in NYC?" We didn't even talk about that. I guess it's kind of obvious, but not really. And when Sudar's Pro Skate Edit coming out? Uh, he's got to work on that as soon as possible, I guess. Yeah. Uh, no set date for the edit, but uh, mm -hmm. we're here for the Bashi Pope and Jump Street. There we go. There we go. Well, Jump you're here for first. Jump Street. Jump Street, Jump Street first. Sorry. It just happened to be first. the same weekend as the Pope. It just walk, happened right? to be. So coincidentally, <laughs> you're like, oh, okay. We also have a contest. You call Delta. Like, we also have a contest happening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Matt Rice asks, what's your all-time, not current, all-time favorite skater? Who is the GOAT in your opinion? <laughs> oh, this is, damn. Sit back. Fuck. It'd be sick if it was just like me. Woo! Drop the mic. Kick it over. <sighs> the best Damn, of all you had to time. think about it like that. Yeah, huh? you never thought about this. Before? I can do this like okay. I'm gonna name Arlo. I'm gonna name Dustin Latimer. Mm -hmm. T.J. Weber. Good names. Yeah. Those are like three different good, kind of good names. Three different kind of uh, yeah, definitely kind of skaters. Well, Arlo obviously he 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 was the biggest impact of my life. Mm -hmm. And then um, I think it's funny about T.J. is maybe because we were like same. Same, same, growing up. Right. Like, I, re I fell in love with skating more, like, more later. And I was like, damn, dude. Like, I watched, like, a section later in, this, in the time, and I was like, fuck. That was way ahead of, like, one of, like, Brian Smith's old videos. I don't mm -hmm. know what it was. Baking mm -hmm. cookies or something. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, fuck. Did you see, this section would be relevant now, you know? Um, but he Dustin's, totally du that. yeah, Dustin's obviously. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's his, too. We were, we were, I mean, I, one conversation I remember having with Oshima and Dustin, we were in Barcelona, 
USD days. This is before he left USD to go for Razors. They were just having, I remember this day, this conversation they both were having, like, we're going to change skating, mm-hmm. you know? We're going to do it. And I, I remember, like, being in the car feeling fucking old as shit. Like, <laughs> what are they talking about, dude? Dude, <laughs> that, is, that is a conversation I would, like, and as a kid, I would have wished they had that conversation. <laughs> it was heavy. I remember, like, we, I have a photo of me. It was me, Kevin, Gillen, Petty, and them two. And we were, like, with our distributor in Spain for USD. And I, I just still this day. And then that day, they were dropping in all the steep banks going fakey they were just doing the big spins over the biggest mm-hmm. shit that you know they were like they were feeding off each other that that, that on that trip and it was, anyway i love that they it was had pretty, that talk yeah they were I like we're gonna that. change <laughs> we're gonna do this <laughs> and they did that's yeah damn. That was i'm, a I'm heavy geeking one. out right now that's that so was cool. a heavy one it was that's amazing hey dude we're gonna we're gonna change getting it right and yeah. then doing so and they did <laughs> yeah wow and then he went on to, to razors and <sighs> boom you know Change shit wow. for sure. A lot of people are saying you're the goat. Oh. <laughs> a couple of people are asking about people are talking about like collabs and everything, but people a lot of people keep asking about basement. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say on Yeah, sure. Um I was I was like anyone else a little bit shocked. Mm-hmm. Um but more so like because like not that I deserved a call, but we were all friends, you know. Yeah. Imagine that at least like we're gonna do this, but you know, like a, like a and, heads up kind of thing. Yeah, but in, in any case, it's none of my business. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So taking it to heart was like not really what I was doing. Right. So, but but with that being said, I respect them hundred percent. I love mm-hmm. what they do. You know, not that I have to say that either. Mm-hmm. But um, anyone, anyone investing in our industry, putting money in, mm-hmm. you know, sweat, tears, whatever, mm-hmm. all respect. Word. That's, That's good. Everyone's trying to grow, right? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And their shit is legit, you know? Everyone mm-hmm. knows that. <laughs> I, I saw Sean with some, with some them skates. Clips yeah. On yeah, 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 just skating them skates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, nothing but respect. I was, you know, going back to what I said earlier, it's just like, was, I was kind of surprised that I didn't at least mm-hmm. get a call, but whatever. Yeah. It's none of my business. You know, I don't have any... Right. It's kind of like... It's like... It's kind of like... They could have done a USD skate or whatever it is. Kind of like like sleeping with an (laughs) ex-girlfriend. If you you said that, but... (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'm going to do one more question then we're going to call it. Bonter, 1983. Best clip you ever got? I'm going to say favorite clip you ever got. If there's like any particular trick that you got that you have like a a fond memory of that you're like, holy shit, this is like the one... We should do these two of his. Of his, yeah, okay. Like I our did, favorite of his. I did. Okay. I did a true fish fish brain on a box. It's like a little a small box in the warehouse. I did <laughs> oh, a true a fish one. brain to true macchio, and I spun out the same way for JP over there. That was that's the best awesome. shit I've done in a long time. Best shit. It's a small fucking box, but I haven't done that ever. So I'll just recently, that. yeah, like last week, right? Whoa. Yeah. How long have you been skating? Oh fuck. Do you know the I, number? I don't know. I was fourteen. 15. Okay, so we'll say 50 years. <laughs> right? Sure. Okay. It feels like it. So, in about 50 years of skating, you did your favorite trick last week. I'm just kidding, you're not 50 years old. People well, okay. skating forever. I did, I did do, <laughs> okay. Keeping it on that same lines, I, and for one love, I did a, on this flat rail. And I've never been able to do it again. I did a, just the same thing. True fish to Ipe Soul. Dude, I was, I was, I was, I was just going to say, that mm-hmm. was when it came to like us saying what mm-hmm. our favorite tricks of you are. The true fish to Ali Soul. Yeah. It's like you were the first one With to do it. With the three out. I don't remember seeing what was the first. He was the first one to do it. Yeah. I did the on the down rail at the skate park at uh, Detroit. I, I, but I did it on a rail. And Josh made three sweaty it right yeah. behind it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> remember that? Remember that? So that's that's like, your it was favorite. True fish to Ali Soul. That, that was the true fish to Ali Soul. Yeah. yeah. I'm still trying to think of it because it was like the first one I've ever seen when mm. true fish was so like mm. mysterious. Like, whoa, how does how does anyone do that? Right. And then he was doing it to like Ali Soul. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. Just for the, for what it was in that time. Too. I can't like, think of my favorite trick of yours, but I know my favorite section of yours. I think it was Volo Four. Was it the one where you announced the two piece hole? Was that four? Yeah. That was like my favorite section of you. And like up until that time, I haven't had like a favorite section in a long time, or like a section that like hit me in any way particular. Um, when that section came out, though, when I saw it, like everything from the music to the the stuff you were skating, the way like Yvonne edited it, whatever it was, like to me that like hit me a lot mm-hmm. and. I haven't had that feeling in a long time. And oh. I'm just curious if you had any 
like is that section or anything in there stand out to you at yeah, all yeah definitely it, it, it definitely. felt like I, it might be the music i don't know but like yeah. it was so like to see like another section of you again and it was like was it after like your you made like a, a birthday video and you're like i don't know how much longer i could do this or something like yeah that. And it was 36 maybe it was because it like followed that or something like that after. but it was like to see you doing that and you like killed it like it, i think that was one of like your best sections like skating wise it was it was crazy and i just don't know if that was anything that meant anything I think to you was. yeah it definitely was for sure especially at that period of time but i feel like it's i don't know i mean yvonne you know mm-hmm. like he put that together you know like he definitely he's a master you know yeah, master, he, def- he masterful definitely with, he definitely with killed it too. And filming and mm-hmm. the whole video mm-hmm. you know, so can't take full group. Like, yeah, I don't know. That, definitely. That <laughs> section was so like it was like inspiring my favorites. for whatever reason to me. I appreciate it was it. expiring and it was it means like a lot here coming from you. Like I said, like I haven't like had a section like hit That's me like incredible. that since I was like a kid. Like you know, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I I can't even explain what it is. Like I'm trying to explain it, but I can't. It just uh, there's. It, it I feel like there was definitely a vibe, way. but that, Yvonne Ed is like it, that. He can, yeah, he can but do that one like stood out above all the other ones, and it was like very homey vibe, but also very like. Yeah, you could still go at this age and still kill it, and mm. you were still like lacing hammers and shit, and it was like really inspiring and in depth on the commitment. Like, yeah, sure. it, there was something about it. You were just like, yeah, this is it. I'm going. Like, it felt like you were like, yeah, I have everybody now, but let's go. And you were just like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I appreciate it's crazy. It, yeah. yeah, I like okay. that a lot. Thank you. Thank well, you. it was awesome, and thanks. Thank for, you. Thanks I'm for mad. coming That's in a long time. all the thanks. way to Staten Island. <laughs> thanks for sitting down, watching your England section, answering all these questions from us, from everyone else, sweating under these hot lights. Yeah. <laughs> thanks for coming He's, out. Need the powder. Okay. Yeah, we can get the powder. <laughs> yeah, the um, I thank you, man. Thank you for having me. Of on. course, thanks for coming. And everyone else, yeah. Yeah. we just want to let you know. Please follow us on YouTube. Follow us on yep. Instagram. Follow our Facebook page. Follow them skates at them skates on Instagram, mm. on Facebook. Go to our Patreon if you like what we're doing. If you don't go anyway, drop a few bucks down and leave a message that says something bad and you can <laughs> insult us with, with, with the donation. Also and, uh, the iTunes reviews too. We need oh the yeah, iTunes, iTunes reviews up. We're, we're trying to get blading to the top. Straight to the top. <laughs> to the top. <laughs> also the giveaway. Don't forget about the giveaway. If you guys want to win a pair of 908s ivory, courtesy of John Julio. Uh, follow both Instagrams of Them Skates and Jump Street Podcast. Post a clip this weekend and tag us in it. It has to be posted within this weekend. So um, tag us in it and you have a chance When's to win. When's the cutoff time? So everyone knows the time. Monday, Monday, 1201? Is that it? Within the week? Sure. Okay. Sure. Monday, 1201. Monday, Monday, be- Monday at noon. Okay. So you have two full days. Good luck to everybody. Good luck. And thanks again for watching, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, guys. Cool. Yeah. We're out.